Now, Carmen, Ohio. toward the kickoff, and with me as always, and uh, ready, voluminous notes over there, and looking all uh, raring to go this afternoon, Bob Connors. Robert? Ken, thank you very much, and good afternoon, Buckeye football fans, wherever you are. I think we have a good one today. It's one of those games that could go either way, and we're not saying that just to throw out some of those voluminous notes and so on, but I was just speaking with Dave Purdy down on the sideline, and Dave says that the Buckeye defense is, uh, what was the word you used on that, David? Well, I said hyped up, Bob. All right. Uh, the Buckeye defense feels that uh, that the offense is going to be able to put points on the board for us, and the defense figures they're, they might have their work cut out for them with this uh, young Ford and uh, Emmanuel Tolbert. Are you still with me, David? I'm here, Bob. What about the uh, special uh, problems that uh, that combination Ford and Tolbert might cause the Buckeye secondary, which has been somewhat loose as of late? Well, uh, with the injuries to Todd Bell and Lenny Mills, the defense, I'm sure, hasn't been up to par. But uh, I don't know if Ken mentioned it, but they, uh, they are cleared for, to play today. Okay. But it will be a coaching decision whether they do play or not. I'd rather think, Bob, that uh, on a non-conference game, they may not spare this game uh, unless they have to use them. And, of course, then we start the Big Ten next week. All right, David, that's good thinking. We'll, uh, we'll observe that throughout the afternoon. And that was Dave Purdy, former Ohio State quarterback, who's with us on the sidelines and uh, gets us a lot of... Uh, a lot of information first as he's right down there and and he's certainly been a tremendous help to us ken uh, all of last year and all of this year indeed he gives us a definite uh, extra insight into the ball game uh, being down there right where things are happening on the field well there emmanuel tolbert is their big play man and uh, mike ford of course an excellent passer smu's coming in here with a rather sophisticated uh, offense they'll go play action they'll go option they'll do anything they can do to get the ball to emmanuel tolbert and also a man to watch for Southern Methodist will be uh, Anthony Smith. He's their second leading receiver. And then their tight end, Elton Garrett. These three gentlemen will figure very prominently in the Southern Methodist passing game. Uh, Southern Methodist, uh, for one strange reason or another, either injuries or they just haven't worked on it that much, has not developed as strong a running game as Coach Myers would like them to have. But uh, they've been doing about 300 yards passing and about 86 yards running per game. And uh, quarterback Ford is a tough quarterback to get to. If you're looking at it from the Buckeye defensive standpoint, he's about a five-step passer. And the Buckeye defense is really going to have to be aggressive this afternoon to get back to him to cause him to throw a little early and maybe throw some of those uh, SMU passes into the uh, scarlet jerseys with the uh, gray numbers, the ones that uh, Southern Methodist doesn't want to get that ball. We'll be back with more pregame information in just 60 seconds. Four and a half minutes until kickoff here at Ohio Stadium on a kind of scattered, cloudy afternoon. There had been some rain in the forecast. Our temperature right now here at uh, game time is 53 degrees. It'll be mostly cloudy. Some showers possible. This afternoon, the temperature is going to range anywhere from 53 to 54 degrees for this afternoon's game, which is almost ideal for some football weather. I think of the weather we had last year when we played Southern Methodist down in Dallas, and that was a warm one that night. Well, can they say that uh, the rumor mill that uh, we've talked about here the last couple of weeks says the first play from scrimmage is going to be a sweep today, which means that uh, Woody's going to go along using those tight ends as his extension of his offensive line and uh, plow some people under and go to the right side with it. Well, as he pointed out to you on the pregame show today, he is uh, hoping that they will be able to do the same things they did last week in terms of their throwing. 
that is to get them thinking about the run and then throwing uh, the football after that. The officials are going out toward the center of the field or will be momentarily. The referee is Thomas Paspapolis. The umpire is Bob Grady. The headlinesman George Solomon. The line judge Bob Ratliff. The field judge Howard Eckert. And the back judge is Jim Evans. Last year, we were uh, watching this club and they had a back name, Arthur Whittington, who was a sensational runner. This year, they're counting today on a man named Darrell Turner, who has beaten out Derek Sheldon as their top running back. We're just a few minutes away from the opening kickoff as Ohio State plays Southern Methodist. Today's pregame show has been brought to you by Landmark Incorporated, with 195 outlets serving farms, towns, and suburbs across Ohio. Stay tuned for all the action here on the OSU Football Network. We pause for 15-second station identification. Captains have met at the center of the field, Byron Cato, Tom Cousinaw, Tim Vogler, and Rod Gerald for the injured Ron Springs, representing Ohio State, and Putt Schoed and Joe Bays for SMU, and SMU won the toss, and they will receive the kickoff. They will be uh, down at the north end to the left of us at the closed end of Ohio Stadium, and Robert, the weather is getting better by the minute here as the Buckeyes have come to the field and are huddling below us right now. Well, it's going to be an outstanding afternoon, Ken, and, and no doubt there is some validity to the fact that this is a non-conference game. Lenny Mills might not start, probably will see action in the defensive secondary, and the fact that the Buckeyes have uh, elected to kick off indicates that Southern Methodist is going to be testing us offensively right, right off the bat. You know that they're going to come out firing because that's their game plan. Uh, their plan is just very basically get the ball to Emmanuel Tolbert. And uh, in some punting situations, uh, there's uh, some possibilities we might see some, uh, some hurry-up huddles from their punt uh, formation. So just a few things we'll keep our eye out for and make sure that, uh, uh, that we'll you know, just kind of key in on some of the things because we sure feel that they're going to have to do something other than pass. And all of it's going to be predicated in the early part of this game on just how quick we can get to Ford and if our defensive secondary is able to maybe to come up with that seed once or twice and take it on in for us. Tommy Orris is ready to kick off, and back deep is D.K. Ferry. And let me tell you about this man. He has two touchdowns, one on an 80-yard punt return and one on a 94-yard kickoff return on the first play of the season. I mean, he can really run with that football. He is a cousin of the Cincinnati Red second baseman Joe Morgan from uh, Bonham, Texas, and he is standing alone back at the goal line. The two up men are up around the 15-yard line, so they want him to get that football. And Tom Morris now with three men to his right, the others to his left, gets ready. And here comes his kick. And virtually no win, but he drives it deep to the end zone, right on the back line, and it will go to SMU on their 20. They'll take it there first down and 10 yards to go. So we'll check him out for you now on offense. They will have Mike Ford. He is a sophomore, 6'3", 220 pounds from Mesquite, Texas at quarterback. His running backs will be Tim Johnson at fullback, and Darrell Turner is set in behind him, and we'll check the rest of them as they come out. They send Emmanuel Tolbert out wide on the right. They go to the I formation, and on the left side is Anthony Smith. Tolbert has caught 14. Smith has caught seven. Ford into his count, and he hands off, and bucking right straight ahead up the middle is the fullback, Tim Johnson, who has gained 86 yards this season. He gets a couple of yards. Out to the 22-yard line, Mark Sullivan and Tom Cousinaw make the tackle, and it will be second down and eight yards to go. Second and eight for Southern Methodist. Lance Peterson is at center. Mike Mason and Joe Bays are the guards. Lee Spivey and Mike Jusko the tackles. Elton Garrett the tight end. Smith and Tolbert are the wide receivers. And Johnson and Turner are the backs set in behind the quarterback, Smith. Second down of Mike Ford, that is. Second down, eight yards to go at the 22. Ford handing off. Running with it, Derek Sheldon, who just went into the lineup, and he's going to be spilled for a loss. He was angling toward the left tackle. Nothing there. Paul Ross closed it. Al Washington covered it, and it's all the way back at the 18-yard line. He lost four. It'll be third down 12. This program is a presentation of WTVN Radio Sports under rights granted by the OSU Athletic Department, intended solely for the private use of the listening audience, and he rebroadcast direct or indirect without the express written consent of WTVN Radio is prohibited. 
running with the ball and up the middle is Tim Johnson going behind left guard gets it back out knifing his way to the 23 yard line and Gary Doolin is there to make the tackle so it is going to be fourth down and about seven yards to go for SMU and they'll have to kick it right away they did not put the ball in the air Ken Rosenthal is their kicker he's averaged 34 yards he has not punted well this year Mike Guess on his 46 takes it comes across the 50 over the 45 into the 40 onto the 38 yard line of SMU it's nothing nothing we pause 30 seconds parts and labor stop in or call today the first offensive play, Calvin Murray gets the call, goes over left tackle and runs it 10 yards, or very close to it. They'll measure to see whether he made a first down in at the 29-yard line. The line of scrimmage was the 39-yard line. It was a 31-yard kick, a 15-yard run back by Mike Guess. Jerry Kovar was the man who made the tackle on Calvin Murray, who is getting the big start today. Last year, or last week, rather, 16 rushes, 101 yards, and he ran for a first down, the first time he had the football here this afternoon. Schleister is in there at quarterback. Murray and Campbell are the running backs. They have um, Doug Donnelly in there as a slot back. Now he goes out as a flanker, and Rod Jarrow goes as a split end on the left side as they go into the uh, T formation. Schleister gets set. He's got the two tight ends in, and he hands the ball off, and it is Campbell going inside the 25-yard line and getting on to the 24. And Putt Choate, who has uh, 58 total participations, the same as his number, 28 solos, 30 assists, makes the tackle in at the 24-yard line as Campbell picks up five at his second down and five to go. Campbell has carried 49 times, 219 yards, an average of 4.3. They go to the I formation, second down five at the 24-yard line of SMU. He fakes to Campbell, keeps the ball inside the 15, onto the 10, the five, touchdown, Mike Schleister. 24-yard touchdown run by the freshman quarterback. Faked the ball beautifully to Campbell, took it over the left side and was untouched as he went in for the score. That was just a beautiful piece of handling on the uh, on the fake. It looked like a sweep around to the left side, and Schleister stuck it out and saw that uh, he had that opening around the end, and he just took it and ran with it. Vladi Yonikievsky, seven for eight in points after touchdown out of the hold of Greg Castagnola on the 10-yard line. We'll try for the point after. He puts it down. The kick is up, and the kick is good. It is 7-0 Buckeyes. We pause 30 seconds. How much snow? Ohio State leading Southern Methodist 7 0 with 12 minutes and 26 seconds left to go in the first quarter. The Buckeyes in their first possession score on Arch Schleister's 23 yard keeper around the left end. This is Bob Connors with Ken Coleman as the Buckeyes are just about ready to kick off. Tom Morris will be kicking off. Southern Methodist came out their first series of downs from scrimmage and didn't throw the ball once. We were all sitting back wondering when. He was going to test the secondary. Well, they're going to get another chance at it right now. Ken? Indeed they are, and they'll have to do that as D.K. Perry is again back deep. He has Gibson and Kovar up uh, front in front of him about the 14-yard line as Oris gets ready to do the kicking. Three plays. The Buckeyes move the ball 39 yards for the touchdown. First Murray for 10, and then Campbell for 5, and then... Schleister the rest of the way. So Tommy Orris, who booted one deep into the end zone a moment ago, gets ready. 12-26. Left to play in the first quarter of this game. The flags are still. As Orris stands back at his 29, and now he is coming up on the ball. Here it comes. And he's putting this one down to the goal line. Taken there by Terry. Back to the 5, the 10, the 15, and he is dumped at the 19-yard line. A great stop by Norman Burrows with a blocked tackle. He got right down at his ankles, and he upended him. He went flying through the air up to the 19-yard line. So now Mike Ford, 47 out of 84 passing for 56%. He's thrown for five touchdowns coming into today's game and only four interceptions. One interception every 21 times he has put the ball up. Has it at the 19-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. He's got him in the T formation. He's going straight back, looking to throw. Drops one out on the right side at the 25-yard line. The tight end, Robert Fisher, has it. And he takes it up to the 29-yard line, close to the 30. Vince Skilling and Todd Bell make the tackle. Robert Fisher, who has caught three this year, he's a tight end from Pasadena, California, a junior 6'4", 230. And he brought the ball up just shy 
of the 30, call it the 29-yard line, and that is going to be a first down for SMU. They threw a lot of that uh, little short stuff, a lot of crossing patterns. Emmanuel Tolbert goes out wide on the left side, and they've got Anthony Smith to the right. The quarterback has his team this time in the eye. On the fake draw, he drops a screen, and it is caught up at the 30-yard line, and running with the ball up across the 35 and onto the 38-yard line is number 44, Darrell Turner, who is in there as a back right now. Kelton Dantzler and Al Washington making the tackle on the play. A well-conceived play. It looked like a, a draw at first, developed into a screen. The ball comes out to the 38-yard line, so they pick up nine. It is second down and one, and they are moving the football now from the 19 up to the 38 in a couple of tries. Mike Ford, the quarterback, takes it, and he hands it off, and running over the right side is Darrell Turner again. Doesn't get much space, but might have enough to make the first down. They may have to measure, maybe not, as he went over the right side. Ray Ellis from Canton, Ohio, in there to make the tackle. They're bringing it back, and uh, he lost a little bit. Back to the 37-yard line, It'll be third down and one. Ford, incidentally, has two big thrills. One leading Mesquite to the state championship, and the other catching a seven-pound, 10-ounce bass. And he'd like to add to those thrills today. Third down one at the 37-yard line. He fakes, throws over the right side. Darrell Turner takes it again. He is pumped out of bounds up at the 43-yard line by Kelton Dantzler. There is a penalty marker down on the play. So let's see what this is about. But the catch was made by Darrell Turner, a junior from Grapeland, Texas, who is making uh, the start today. I think the penalty on this, Ken, if I'm not mistaken, they were looking at George Hill might have been out in that playing or that uh, area just off the sidelines that they want to keep clean or keep clear of people. And that conceivably could be the penalty here. Well, they, um, in any event, if assuming it's against the Buckeyes they have the first down and it appears to be and it is indeed it is going to be 15 yards from the 43 yard line all the way over to the Ohio State 42 well then that's not the penalty for 15 yards huh? no they've got a personal foul call on the Buckeyes at the 42 yard line of Ohio State so SMU started on their 19 and here they are five plays later at the Ohio State 42-yard line, 10.45 left to play first quarter, 7-0 Ohio State in front. It is a pitch back, and coming up the middle is Darrell Turner. He smacks his way inside the 40, onto the 35, and to the 34-yard line, and Todd Bell and Mike Guess make the tackle on the play. Hard-running Darrell Turner, slashing his way up the middle into the 34-yard line, and that will make it second down, two yards to go for SMU. Emmanuel Tolbert, who has caught 14 passes, the team leader, three of them for touchdowns, his longest 57, goes wide to the left, and out on the right side is Anthony Smith. And back to pass is Mike Ford. He's looking, he's aiming for Tolbert, throws it out of bounds, down around the 15-yard line, coverage by Ray Ellis, and uh, Todd Bell also in the vicinity, as the Buckeyes covered him very tightly, double teaming. It'll be third down two at the 34. I think Coach Meyer's game plan uh, thus far, Ken, is, is working for him. He's using a lot of crossing patterns, as you indicated, to keep our linebackers, uh, to keep their attention back there while they're working uh, Tolbert and the wide receivers uh, down deep in those fly patterns. He's got a good game plan going so far in this crucial series right here. Tolbert is the only wide man now, and Mike Guess is man-to-man -man alone with him. And the handoff goes this time to Derek Shelton, who comes over right tackle, doesn't get much room, goes inside the 35, takes it on to the 33. Gary Doolin, Al Washington there to make the tackle at the 33-yard line. And it's going to be very close. They are uh, maybe going to measure here to see just how close it is or whether or not they did indeed make the first down. They had to get down to the... 32-yard line, and I don't think they did it, but of course SMU has the prerogative here of seeing how much they do need, or maybe they did get it. Let's see. They didn't. They need uh, very, very little. Very little indeed. Fourth down and a deep breath to go as they bring it into the inbounds marker, and they're huddling, and it looks like they'll go for it. They have a splendid place kicker, incidentally in Eddie Garcia, who was booming the ball here in practice before the game. But right now, they're fourth down and one, and Ron Meyer says, let's go for it. His team huddling. 
And now uh, they come busting out of the huddle and send Tolbert out wide on the left side. He is out there by himself with Vince Skilling. Out to cover him this time. And they go into the eye formation. And the quarterback, Mike Ford, takes it and cuts in right over between right guard and right tackle, just diving forward to get that little bit of uh, footage he needed. Doolin, Cato, and Dantzler are all covering, and uh, we may have to measure it again. Let's see. It is a first down. They don't have to measure at the 32-yard line, first down for SMU. So they're on a drive. They started back on their 19-yard line, and here they are, five, seven, nine plays later, first and 10 at the Buckeye 32-yard line, trailing Ohio State 7-0 in the first quarter with 9.38 remaining. Mike Ford, the quarterback, is ready against the five-man front. Takes it, goes back, flips it out on the right side. It is complete, and uh, down at the 26-yard line is Elton Garrett, and the tackler is Vince Skilling. Garrett has 11 receptions. One for a touchdown. He's averaged 14 yards a catch. Just a little out pattern into the 26-yard line. And so there is a gain on the play of six. It'll be second down, four yards to go for Southern Methodist as he is uh, nickel and diming out there right now. He sends Emmanuel Tolbert out wide on the right side. Again, he is the only wide man at the moment. Ford fakes. Hands it off and going over the left tackle, swinging to the outside, getting into the 25 to the 24-yard line is uh, Derek Shelton. And he is tackled by Al Washington and Byron Cato. And they bring it to the inbounds marker at about the 24-yard line, which is going to make it third down and two. Uh, Dave Purdy's on the sideline. Dave, uh, do you notice us double on uh, doubling on the Emmanuel Tolbert in that last series? No, we're not, uh, Bob. They're in a man-to-man -man straight with uh, Mike Guess uh, against him. Tough defense, one-on-one. -on -one. Well, they've had Guess against him. They've had Skilling against him both uh, when he has been flopped to either side. Now we're ready with a third down two at the 24-yard line. People moving around. Ford has it. He throws it out. Tolbert has it at the 20. And Guess man-to-man -man with him. And Guess grapples him down at about the 17, 18 yard line. Paul Ross got tremendous uh, pressure on the passer that time. The ball in, however, to the 18 yard line. That is a first down. He just flipped it out. That's all a short pass. He caught the ball, Tolbert did, and Guess was out there on the man-to-man -man coverage on the near side as SMU is driving from left to right as we look down uh, from the close to the open end of the stadium. Now Anthony, Anthony Smith wide to the left and slotted on the left side is Tolbert with Cousin on his coverage here. Now Ford back to throw. He fires on the left side for Tolbert and he has got him down on the goal line. At the one yard line he is knocked out of bounds. Popped the ball just about on the one yard line and Todd Bell and Mike Guess and Vince Gilling were all there with him but Tolbert came up with a football and so this is what Bob Connors mentioned. This is what they wanted to do. Get the ball in his hands. They are now doing it and at the one it is first down and goal to go. Well Tolbert came out of a crowd over that far side Ken and uh, we dropped everybody back and gave Ford just a little too much time. So here's Ford now, the quarterback ready. He hands the ball off and driving in there for the touchdown is number 22, Derek Shelton. There is a penalty marker down, a penalty marker down on the play. It appears to be against Ohio State, and so SMU is on the board, and they have moved the ball 81 yards on this drive, mixing a very effective running and passing game. 13 plays. They took it 81 yards. And Derek Shelton was the man who took it over. Eddie Garcia in extra points is 14 out of 14. He's one for one in field goals this year. And he is going to be uh, doing the kicking right now to try to tie it. He puts it down and it is up in the air. And Garcia's kick is good. The score is tied 7-7 as we pause 30 seconds. And the score is tied 7-7 seven seven here at Ohio Stadium. Bob Connors with Ken Coleman. And SMU has just scored here in the first period. 81-yard drive. Derek Shelton with a one-yard run. The conversion was good. We scored with 12-26 in the first period. Arch Schleister on a 23-yard keeper around the left end. And our conversion was good. So we have a tie ball game at 7-7. Seven seven. 
Mike Ford is six of seven for 53 yards. And one thing we can keep in mind today, Ken, is that uh, we intercepted Ford last year three times in the end zone. So that's something for us to look forward to. Of course, the way they ran that last drive, uh, they certainly don't look at all like the SMU team we saw last year. He is not a freshman either. He is a sophomore now and has gained that maturity that makes the difference. Ty Hicks and Calvin Murray are the deep men for the Buckeyes as Eddie Garcia gets ready to do the kicking off from the left to the right as we look down with 8-9 left to play. Here's a driving low line drive kick that is going to go out of bounds down around the eight yard line of Ohio State. Goes out of bounds down at the eight yard line so they will uh, bring that ball uh, back up and they will kick it over again. The official call on that if you didn't know is a delay of game and it will be moved back to the 35 and he'll boot it over. The crowd was giving the official uh, a big hand. He tried four different times to get that flag out of his <laughs> pocket but didn't come out. <laughs> Garcia is the man who does the uh, place kicking. Their punter is Rosenthal, and we we're talking with their sports information director before the game about Rosenthal having an average of 34.4, but only six returns for nine yards, so we figured, well, he must have great hang time. And uh, the information we got was, no, he just shanking the ball, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> Ty Hicks and Calvin Murray back again, and here it comes out of bounds again, this time at the 16-yard line, and he was much quicker with a handkerchief this time. Much, much quicker. I mean, that's practice. So now Garcia, looking a little upset with himself, he's going to have to go back uh, another five. And that's okay with the Buckeyes. The OSU Football Network says hello to everyone in Painesville listening to WPVL. Beth Havlicek's hometown and to everyone listening in Sandusky over WLEC. Good old familiar territory. At the 30-yard line now, Garcia is ready to deliver his message again. <laughs> oh, no. Eight minutes and nine seconds left here in this first quarter. It is seven to seven, and it's been a good, interesting football game so far. Now, Murray and Hicks are all the way up at the 20. Garcia standing back at his 21 as he gets ready to kick it from the 30. A little bit of a breeze against him at this time. This time he bangs it up the middle. It's bouncing at the 25-yard line. It's out of bounds on the other side of the field around the 23-yard line. And, and he will now kick it from the 25. So it's like a 15-yard penalty. He has not been able to get the ball into the 53 and a third yards, which constitutes the width of a football field. So Eddie, not in the fairway today. He is. He is in the rough. I was going to ignore the note that was handed to us, but I, I'm going to use it now. After okay. the third bad kick, it says they figure his shoes are on the wrong feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. I was thinking, just sitting here a couple minutes ago, laughing to myself. Here it is, eight minutes, nine seconds to go in the first period, 7-7. Seven, seven, and uh, we have fun and games. And uh, never thinking how Ford and this entire SMU unit has the has the wherewithal down there just to put us in our places real quick and turn this thing around. I saw Bob Gain do this once at the Rubber Bowl in Akron in a pro football game of the Browns some years ago. I, I hope Bob's not listening right now. Here comes the kick. It's a low line drive. It's up the middle. Nice going. It's at the 28. It is taken by Hicks across the 30, 35, 40. And across the 45, 50 yard line. Great piece of running by Tyrone Hicks. And uh, he is knocked out of bounds. Let's see where they spot the ball. They're going to put it down at the SMU 48-yard line. And so Tyrone Hicks comes up with a fine piece of running. And the Buckeyes have it in excellent position at the 48-yard line of Southern Methodist. David Hill was the man who made the tackle. Now Ohio State has two wide receivers on the left side. Rod Gerald is the split end. The slot back is Doug Donnelly. And uh, it is Schleister keeping after faking and going over the left tackle position, looking for space, getting um, a yard, maybe two, up into the 46-yard line. It'll be second down and eight yards to go as Putt 
Choate, Mark Putnam Choate of Cahoma, Texas, is there to make the tackle. Well, as we indicated at the top of the broadcast, there was a possibility of some showers, and it is raining right here now, and everybody's scurrying for cover, and those umbrellas are all out. Second down, eight at the 46-yard line of SMU, and we have Donnelly in motion to the right in the I formation. Schleister taking the ball, and he hands it off, and going in over left guard, left tackle, is Paul Campbell, and he gets into the 43-yard line with his head down. Pete Muse, the right tackle, a 220-pounder from Houston, making the tackle at the 43-yard line, and that's going to make it third down and five yards to go for the Buckeyes in SMU territory. Seven minutes and seven seconds left. 7-7 seven, seven the score. Rod Gerald wide to the right. Donnelly is the slot back on the right side as they go to the T formation. And the quarterback, Schleister, goes straight back to throw. Fires on the right side. It is intercepted at the 39-yard line. And running back with the football is David Hill. He brings it up across midfield and is going to be knocked out of bounds over on the far side of the field. Doug Donnelly, the intended receiver, was the man who got him, and the ball is right at the 50. He took it from the 39-yard line right to the midfield stripe, and so Southern Methodist picks off a pass, and they have it. First down at the 50. That's the second interception this year by David Hill, one of them for a touchdown. So at the 50, it is first down and 10 for SMU. Faking, throwing long downfield for Tolbert. And he oh. goes up there and makes a great catch. Phenomenal. He went be oh, wasn't that something? He went between Phenomenal. two defenders, Guess and Bell. Emmanuel Tolbert just took that ball from out of nowhere. It is a 28-yard pickup. The ball is in at the 22-yard line, and it is first down and 10 for SMU. Tolbert is 5'10", a 180-pound junior from Little Rock, Texas. Not Arkansas, but Texas. Three players on this team from Little Rock, Texas, in fact. At the 22-yard line, here comes Tolbert in motion to the right side. Ford handing it off and gunning over right tackle and picking up short yardage. Here's Darrell Turner and Al Washington plunks him down at about the 20-yard line. It will be second down and eight for SMU at the Ohio State 20 with six minutes, 15 seconds left to play in this first quarter. The score is tied 7-7, to and the drizzling rain continues to fall after the sun had been out for a short time. SMU, six first downs, OSU with one. Now Mike Ford, the quarterback, who is six foot three inches tall, drops back to throw, and he guns it to Tolbert again at the 12-yard line. He spins and falls right where he caught the ball. Guess was there to cover him. Good catch. He just, uh, the old-fashioned hook right in there at the 12-yard line. So it's going to be maybe a measurement. Let's see. They may not have to. Uh, looks like they're a little bit shy. Make it third down and about a half a yard to go. One score just in in the first quarter. Oklahoma is leading Texas 14 to nothing in their big shootout. Here's Mike Ford now with his team in the I formation. Tim Johnson, the man right behind him, and Tolbert again in motion from left to right. The handoff goes over the left side, and running with the ball is Derek Shelton, and he gets maybe the first down, maybe not. Paul Ross making the tackle as he went off left tackle and tried to slide along to the outside, and we'll see where the officials bring the ball into the inbounds marker. They are spawning it now at the 16-yard line. Check that at the 11-yard line, I should say, from the 12, and that's enough. It is a first down at the 11-yard line of the Buckeyes. So SMU is moving it again. Single coverage once more on Tolbert. Guess has him on the right side. And back goes Ford. Fakes. Tolbert is slanting across, and the ball is batted in the air, caught by a SMU player after it had gone out of the hands of Tolbert. Vince Skilling was on the coverage. Tolbert is the man who has the football right at the moment, but Elton Garrett was the man who caught it after two players. Guess and Tolbert went up, and the ball bunk, uh, bumped up into the air and went over to Garrett. He is, I believe, the man who gets credit for the touchdown. Offensive, defensive, the offensive man gets it. So now, Glenn Sturman will hold for Eddie Garcia. 13 to seven, SMU leading. He kicks it, and it is no good. It is off to the left, no good. It is 13-7 Mustangs as we pause 30 seconds. It's a rainy afternoon here in Columbus. Ohio State is currently losing to SMU. It's SMU 13, Ohio State 7. 
Mike Ford, 9 of 10 passes for 100 yards, six straight completions. The last drive, 50 yards, with 47 of it in the air. Their touchdown went from Mike Ford to Elton Garrett, 11 yards into the end zone. They lead us 13 to 7. It is raining. You would not think it would favor a passing game as of this moment. But uh, SMU is out on top, and oddly enough, Ken, the touchdowns have not been on single coverage uh, to Emmanuel Tolbert. They've been in a crowd. Here's a low-line drive kick that is coming down to the 13-yard line. Running back is Calvin Murray across the 20, the 25, the 30, and on up to about the 32, maybe 33-yard line where he is taken down. The tackler is Mark Gibson. So uh, the ball is going to be put down at the Ohio State 33-yard line as the officials cover it with a towel, make it first down and 10 to go for the Buckeyes. 4.55 left to play here in this first quarter. At the uh, touchdown pass, Garrett and Skilling both had that ball in their hands, just about a dual possession kind of situation. Schleister fakes, goes over the right side as he keeps the ball, comes out across the 35-yard line, and uh, Art gets on to the 37 where he is taken down. He gains four on the play, and Tweedy Hunt, who is the middle guard and putt Choate, there on the tackle, make it second down and six. His name is Charles Hunt. He likes to call himself Tweedy, and when you're 5'11", 240, you call yourself whatever you like. <laughs> Sir is okay with me. Second down six, 37-yard line. As the Buckeyes in the tee, Schleister on the option, going over the left side, comes to the 40, plunging forward, didn't have much space. And at the 40-yard line, a strong safety, Tim Jones from Tyler, Texas, makes the tackle, and that will make it third down and three. This year, the Ohio State Football Network, 51 stations strong, also feeding this program to alumni associations in Pompano Beach, Florida, and Sunnyvale, California. At the 40, it is third down, three yards to go for the Buckeyes, 3.54 left to play first quarter. Donnelly goes in motion to the right, and it is Schleister handing the ball off, a mishandle, and it looks like it is SMU's ball up around the 42-yard line. He was giving it to Campbell, and there is a fumble, and it is recovered underneath there by Eric Ferguson, number 99, at the Buckeye 43, so it's another big turnover. That was the uh, veer, off, uh, veer option there, and he stuck it in Campbell's stomach and tried to pull it back out, and that's where they got the fumble on that one. And SMU is rolling at the Buckeye 43. SMU, first down, 10 yards to go. 344 left to play in the first quarter. They lead it 13-7. to seven. Mike Ford, the quarterback, has told it wide right. He fakes and is going to be spilled for a big loss by Paul Ross. He came roaring in from the left side, and before Ford could even untrack, he threw him for a loss back at the 49-yard line of SMU. A loss of eight makes it second down and 18 yards to go, and Paul Ross was right on top of him, right into his shirt in no time. They send Emmanuel Tolbert out wide left, and Todd Bell, or check it, Vince Skilling is out there on the single coverage on him this time. As he goes to the tee, Ford drops quickly back and throws it out, and Colbert tried to run with it before he caught it, and it will go as an incompleted pass as he dropped the ball, and we pause for station identification. The radio. When do you listen to the radio? When do you listen to WTVN 610? Well, I... Uh... You can win $25 cash. Listen to 610 Radio Monday morning at 720. The Buckeye Replay, exclusively on WTVN Columbus. Third down, 18 yards to go at the SMU 49-yard line. Tolbert again is out wide as Mike Ford gets ready. They also have Smith split wide. The ball is handed off, and Darrell Turner takes it across the 50-yard line into Ohio State territory to the Buckeye 49, and Mark Sullivan, the middle guard, and Al Washington, the linebacker, make the tackle at the Ohio State 49. It's going to be fourth down and 16 yards to go, and uh, Rosenthal is in to do the kicking. Ken has averaged 34.3, his longest this year, 53 yards. He gets this one up in the air. It's a pretty good-looking kick, and Mike Guest takes it at his 12, and he immediately falls down with it there at the 12-yard line. So the Buckeyes will have it, a 37-yard kick. No return. Ohio State with 2.36 left to play. 
in the first quarter, trailing 13-7. Dave Purdy is with us on the sidelines. Dave, the uh, defense this last time that caused the uh, uh, SMU to have to uh, punt to us, we were giving them a little different look that time. Well, that time, Bob, we did send the ends, the ends on a straight rush. Uh, we're going to have to get a little bit more rush. Mike Ford's just having too much time to pick out his receivers. And he also is getting back very quickly, dropping back nicely. At the 12, it is first down and 10. Calvin Murray up the middle, gets a break, comes to the 20, and now over it to the 21-yard line. Murray running the football for the Buckeyes. Pete Muse from Houston making the tackle. One of the defensive tackles in there. The ball at the 20, and it's an eight-yard pickup for Murray, who continues to look good running with the football. Now Rod Gerald is coming out of the action as uh, Doug Donnelly is coming wide to the left. They've got the two tight ends, Barwig and Moore, in there now. And they're in the T formation. And the ball is handed off. And running with it again is Murray. He's over the 25 and on up to the 26-yard line. He has a first down. The Buckeyes moving the ball on the ground with two minutes showing in this first quarter. Two minutes and four seconds, to be specific. And now the official indicates uh, get that clock moving. And it's down under two as they come out. And Doug Donnelly again comes out wide on the left side. And John Simmons is out there man-to-man -man with him. Schleister handing the ball off and uh, countering over the right side is Paul Campbell across the 30 and uh, bringing the ball on out to the 32, maybe 33-yard line where he is taken down, and it will be second down and three to go for the first down for Ohio State. It looks like the rain has caused uh, Woody to go back to his uh, ultra-conservative game. They're just diving over the left and over the right now. He's picking up yardage on it, but the rain might have uh, might have caused him to pull it back in a little bit. Gerald is out wide to the right. It goes to Murray. He's over right tackle. He gets out to the 40. Almost sprung it. He is hit at the 40-yard line. Knocked down at the 41. And the man who got him was D.K. Perry. And he almost was able to break it loose. It's up to the 41-yard line. And it is first and 10 for the Buckeyes with 117 showing on the clock here in the first quarter. And SMU leading at 13-7. Well, as they say around the locker room, if they hadn't missed out one tackle, Murray be gone because he has got himself some speed. Two wide receivers on the left now. The split end, Gerald. The slot back is Doug Donnelly. Schleister handing the ball. And Calvin Murray over left tackle to the outside again to the 50. Onto the 45. Around the corner into the 40. And knocked out of bounds at the 40-yard line of SMU. It is a 19-yard pickup. A splendid piece of running again by Calvin Murray, who's been a very exciting back the last two weeks now. And it is another Ohio State first down at the 40-yard line of SMU. At the 40-yard line of SMU, it is first and 10. And here's Murray again, over left tackle, shedding tacklers inside the 35 and out of bounds down around the 33-yard line. Another splendid piece of running. He is averaging 6.3, or he was going into this game. And on this play, he takes the ball into the 33, and Jerry Kovar makes the tackle. Well, Murray is in six carries for 58 yards. Wow. Second down three at the 33-yard line. 54 seconds remain in the first quarter. Buckeyes on the move. And the handoff this time goes to Ricky Johnson, who is in the lineup now. And he bangs forward into about the 30-yard line. And he is tackled in there by Jerry Kovar again. Kovar, just a freshman, but they say a very tough football player. At the 30-yard line, it's going to be third down and about a yard to go. And the Buckeyes now, for the first time this afternoon, are going into their robust tee. The three men are set in behind the quarterback, Arch Schleister, with a ball just outside the 30-yard line. Schleister handing it off, and Campbell going over right tackle and belts his way forward inside the 30 and on to uh, the 29, and I, I don't know whether they'll measure or not here. He might have the first down. He might not. Of course, Here. Paul Campbell is outstanding, Ken, on that third and short, the fourth and short. They're going to have to look at it here, Bob, and uh, bring the sticks in now. With 13 seconds left to play in the first quarter, Southern Methodist leading Ohio State 13-7. to And we'll see whether or not Campbell was able to eke out that first down. He got it. He made the first down. It is at the 29-yard line. First and 10 for the Buckeyes. Moving from right to left toward the close end of the stadium here. And this has been... Uh, Quite a first quarter of football. Paul Campbell is the buck of the week. Picked up 109 yards in last week's game against Baylor. And Coach Hayes likes him because he gives him consistency. He hasn't had since Pete Johnson. 
at the 29 first down and Schleister keeps the ball inside the 20, the 15, the 10 and into the corner and out of bounds at about the one at the one yard line and the fans boo it. They thought he might have made it but the official indicates he is about a half a yard away from the touchdown. Arch Schleister who scored on a 24 yard run goes 28 yards this time to the one yard line of his first and goal. First down and goal to go. The clock shows no time left here in this first quarter, and that's it. That is the end of the first quarter, and the score is 13 to 7 SMU leads. This is the Ohio State Football Network. We start the second quarter of play. It is the robust T formation again. Arch Schleese to the quarterback. To Paul Campbell, he drives in up the middle, and there is a touchdown. The Buckeyes score. Ohio State ties it at 13, and Vladi Onikieski will come in to try to put them ahead as they move the ball 11 plays, 88 yards, and have come up with a touchdown. Well, Ken, in that drive, they went 88 yards and all on the ground. Tremendous performance by the Buckeyes, and now Onikieski will try out of the hold of Castagnola. Here it is, and it is... The kick is good. The score is Ohio State 14, SMU 13, and action will continue after this from Motorist Insurance Company. Holman at Ohio Stadium in Columbus as Ohio State has just gone in front of Southern Methodist 14 to 13. Paul Campbell on a one-yard plunge, his third touchdown of the year. And the Buckeyes and SMU are going to have their own shootout here this afternoon. We thought the rain might affect the game somewhat, but it looks like it's still a, just a superb passing afternoon. And Mike Ford has shown us that he can pass short, and he's yet to show us a real super long passing game. But uh, we have three more quarters to go, and here's Ken Coleman. Okay, and here's Tom Morris ready to kick it off. D.K. Perry is back deep, and he will take this ball on the goal line, fumbles it, picks it up, comes to the 5, to the left, to the 10, to the 15, to 20, the 25, the 30, the 35, angling right to the 40, up across to the 44-yard line. A great run by D.K. Perry, and it is out to the 45 where John Epitropoulos makes the tackle on the play. This quarter is brought to you by Motorist Insurance Companies. Remember, life, auto, home, or business, Motorist Insurance serves you. The Buckeyes have the ball at the, or the SMU Mustangs have the ball at their own 45-yard line, first down and 10 on Perry's great run, and he is one of the best in the country. Now Ford drops straight back and throws on the left side and hits. At the 50-yard line, Darrell Turner makes the catch. He's knocked out of bounds at the Ohio State 48 by Kelton Dantzler. A quick pass out on the left side. When uh, Mike Ford goes back to throw those short passes, he just uh, goes back about three, four, five yards and uh, lets her rip. It's at the 48-yard uh, line now of the Buckeyes, and that will make it second down and about three yards to go. Second and three for SMU. And what a battle we have watched here thus far. Now, a handoff and running with a ball, going over the right side and running very well is Tim Johnson inside the 40. He takes it on down to the Ohio State 38-yard line for a first down. Todd Bell is there to make the tackle. In the first quarter, Ohio State had the ball for 19 plays. SMU for 26 in all. Each had possession four times. At the 38-yard line of the Buckeyes, first down and 10. Anthony, Anthony Smith coming wide on the left. And Emmanuel Tolbert is out to the right. Guess is covering him. Here is Ford, back to throw. Fires on the left side. Anthony Smith, incomplete. He was trying to make a shoestring uh, catch coming backward, and it was a little bit short. Smith could not hold on to the football, and so it is an incompletion, second 10 at the 38-yard line of the Buckeyes. The defensive unit uh, is faced with a dilemma. Kenry, they're going to drop uh, Paul Ross and Kelton Dantzler. Uh, go back into co pass coverage or whether they're going to rush them. Now, the last time they rushed Ross, he got a sack, and we'll see where they're going to keep dropping him or they're going to shoot him again. They're alternating Daryl Turner and Derek Shelton in the backfield now. They've got the two wide receivers again, and Ford again drops quickly back and throws it up at the 33-yard line. It is caught by Anthony Smith, another shoestring catch. As he caught it, he fell, and at the 33, he has picked up five yards, and it is third down and five to go. The quick, short 
down and out patterns uh, being used today by Mike Ford. Well, the Buckeyes gave him what they call a fire look. Todd Bell was up on the line like he was going to shoot, and I'm sure that Ford had an audible that time. Third down and five to go at the Buckeyes 33 yard line. They're leading 14 to 13 in the second quarter. And here's Mike Ford to pass again. A short one caught at the 30 yard line by Derek Shelton. He runs it in to the 26 yard line. And Tom Cousinaw and Todd Bell make the tackle. That's going to be enough for a first down for Southern Methodist. First and 10 at the Buckeye 26. Here's the score just in Michigan State three, Notre Dame nothing in the first period. SMU against the Buckeyes. You think of SMU, you think of Dilk Walker and Kyle Rote and Don Meredith and Jerry Levias. Great tradition with his football team. At the Buckeye 26, first and 10. Running with the ball, Derek Shelton. He was looking for space and then went straight up the middle and took it down into the 22-yard line as he got four yards. Gary Doolin and Kelton Dantzler there to make the tackle for Ohio State at the 22, and that will make it second down, six yards to go for Southern Methodist. They send uh, Robert Fisher out of the lineup, and they've got the two wide receivers in again, Smith and Tolbert. And again, Vince Skilling is covering on Tolbert on the right side. They're single coverage on him most of the day. Here it goes for Tolbert down in the corner of the end zone, and it is incomplete, out of bounds, no good. He caught the ball. Skilling was right back there with him, but it is incomplete, out of bounds. Mike Ford this afternoon is 13 of 16 in the air for 119 yards. Third down six, 22-yard line. Ohio State leads it 14 to 13, 12-47. Left to play in the first half of this game. And the rain appears to have stopped, but it's gray right here now at the Ohio Stadium. Tolbert again goes to the right. They split Smith on the left. Third down, six to go. Faking, going back to pass. He throws it on the left side. It is caught by Shelton. And Shelton is hit at about the 17-yard line on a fine tackle by Al Washington, the very quick linebacker from Cleveland. The ball is at the 17-yard line. And are we going to measure again? We've had a lot of them here today. There's a player shaken up. It is Washington who made the tackle. He was shaken up for the Buckeyes. He seems to be uh, just a little bit woozy right now. And uh, Mike Ford is looking at the chains, and the officials are doing the same at the moment. We'll see Tony Legaro in, in place of Al Washington. Washington is the uh, second leading tackler on the squad. Ken, uh, coming into the game today, Tom Cousinaw with 44 tackles, and Al Washington a distant second at uh, with 11 solo tackles. So here comes the chain gang in, and they're going to see whether or not at about the 17-yard line they have enough for the first down. And they don't. They do not have enough. They have fourth down and about a half a yard to go at the 17. Mike Ford went over to the sideline. He said something to Ron Meyer, and it looks like Ford and company will go for it, even though they have a splendid place kicker in uh, Eddie Garcia over on the sideline, a fellow who has not missed this year, although he's only tried one field goal. He has not missed any extra points, so it might be a, a question of his range. And judging from the kickoffs he made, uh, that very well may be the case. Now, Emmanuel Tolbert goes out wide to the right. They've got the two tight ends in. They go to the I formation. They have fourth down, less than a yard to go for a first down. We have a big play coming up right now as the quarterback Ford takes it and just lunges forward himself in behind his center and his left guard, Lance Peterson and Mike Mason, and uh, appears to have enough for the first down. He needed it uh, very little, and he just uh, cracked in there toward Doolin and Cato, and now we'll... Uh, see that they do have a first down and it's spotted just outside the 15 yard line first and 10 southern methodist both teams moving the ball well here in this first half al washington is okay ken we just had word from the bench so he should be back in shortly tolbert is being covered by skilling as he goes out wide on the right smith is on the left and the quarterback is mike ford now they go to the i formation as shelton goes in behind johnson and now they split the tight end, and they try to throw to him, and it is incomplete. They were aiming for Elton Garrett, 
number 82, who split along the line of scrimmage uh, just before the call. Cousinaw was there on the coverage. It'll be second down and 10 at the 15-yard line of the Buckeyes. And that, of course, uh, that late splitting of the tight end uh, intended to confuse or try to confuse the coverage, but Tom Cousinaw is a pretty hard man to fool. Now, Tolbert going out wide right, and on the left-hand side we have Smith again in the eye formation. Ford takes it, throws it, and it is incomplete and almost intercepted. Almost intercepted by Ray Ellis. He had it in his hands down around the five-yard line, but no, sir, he couldn't hold it. Dave Purdy is down on the five-yard line watching the action. Uh, Dave, what about this uh, offense? Uh, this uh, Mike Ford's got a lot of class in there. Well, I mentioned that, Bob. Uh, he shows a lot of diversity for me. Last previous play, the Bucks showed two different defenses, and he audibled twice. It appeared from here, uh, even though the pass was incomplete. Shows a lot of class, like you say. Third down, 10 at the 15-yard line of the Buckeyes, and here's a big one coming up again. Now they're a little confused, apparently, but they're sending both Smith and Tolbert out wide to the right. Tolbert has the slot back, and back goes Ford. He throws it down for the corner, and it is incomplete. Penalty marker down. Dell was out there. Tolbert was out there, and it looked as though they may have collided. Todd Bell and uh, Emmanuel Tolbert and let us see what this call is going to be. It looks like it is going to be interference all the way. Indeed it does. And the ball is going to be put down on the Ohio State one-yard line, and there it is first and goal. The Buckeyes lead 14 to 13 with 11.27 left to play in the first half, but right now SMU is about ready to try to go ahead. First and goal at the one. They've got the two tight ends in there again. Just Tolbert is out wide on the right side. Ford handing off and slamming up the middle is Derek Shelton, and he does not appear to have it made. Tom Cousinaw was there. Ray Ellis was there to make the tackle for Ohio State. And it'll be second down and goal to go, and they're just about a half a yard away now from the touchdown and the lead. The clock going down to 11 minutes and 7 seconds left here in the second quarter. Tolbert comes out on the left side and guesses with him. They go to the eye. And it is the quarterback plunging in there. And let's see. It is going to be a touchdown. Touchdown for Mike Ford, the quarterback going right into the middle of the line and going over for the score. So SMU from their own 45-yard line. March to the score. Well, can you keep a clock on that? What did that? Uh, what? How much time did that uh, drive consume? They've been doing an awful lot of that. They've been eating up that clock pretty well. Well, they've had it uh, for just under five minutes, four minutes and uh, five seconds, as a matter of fact, and 14 plays, and they're going for two. And Ford is throwing, and he hits, and it is Emmanuel Tolbert, and they got two points. So SMU taking the chance. They were trailing 14 to 13, and now the score is 21 to 14 Southern Methodist. Action will continue after this from Motorist Insurance Company. Seven minutes, seven minutes, 55 seconds to go in the first half on a gray, rainy type Saturday afternoon in Columbus. Southern Methodist leading Ohio State 21 to 14. Southern Methodist getting ready to kick off to Ohio State. And uh, you can say what you want, but, uh, but uh, Southern Methodist certainly seems to be able to put points on that board. As we said at the top of the show, it was a concern that we could put points on the board was whether or not our defense was going to be able to hold them. With play-by-play, -play, Ken Coleman. And Eddie Garcia kicks it, and it is taken by Rod Gerald at the 8, coming to the right, to the 10, the 15, and across the 20. And Rod Gerald is tackled at about the 24-yard line. That's where it is at the Buckeye 24. It will be first down and 10 yards to go for Ohio State, trailing now 21 to 14. This quarter being brought to you by Motorist Insurance Companies. Remember, life, auto, home, or business, Motorist Insurance serves you. I think you'll probably, some people will question the propriety of using Rod Gerald in kickoff returns, but Coach Hayes is making an attempt to give Rod as much pub as he can, as much exposure. Gerald wide to the right. Donnelly is there with him. The handoff goes to Calvin Murray. He tries left tackle and doesn't get an awful lot of room to move with. He is tackled after, uh, well, no gain. Actually, well, yeah, about a yard. Up about 
the 25 just over Jimmy Smith the linebacker in there with Harvey Armstrong to make the tackle and it will be second down and about eight to go just over the 25 yard line close to the 26 second and eight Buckeyes as they come out into the T formation Donnelly wide on the right Gerald split on the left and the quarterback uh, angling over the left side Schleister feeds it back to Murray he'll be bumped hard for a loss he got the ball and just as he got it he got John Simmons Simmons one of three men from Little Rock Texas on this club that's about most of the town I think at the 25 it is third and nine some interesting stats on total offense Southern Methodist with 168 yards with 124 passing the Buckeyes with 142 total yards all running Gerald and Donnelly are both wide on the right Doug is the slot back and the handoff goes to Paul Campbell and he goes straight ahead up the middle and he doesn't get much he got out to the 27 yard line and that's going to make it fourth down and seven to go fourth and seven for the Buckeyes 930 remaining in the first half SMU leads it 21 to 14 as they went for the two point conversion coming in here gambling today now back deep is DK Perry and ready to do the kicking is Tommy Orris and there's the boot it is uh, line downfield hits on the 40 taken on the 29 by Perry to the 30 and uh, on out to about the 33 yard line we'll see where they put the ball down for forward progress on the play as Perry after a 45 yard kick brings it back about four yards Keith Ferguson is the man who made the tackle the ball is spotted at the 32 yard line of Southern Methodist. So the Mustangs will have it at that spot. They have been moving the ball well today. Leading it 21 to 14 here in the second quarter. They send Tolbert to the right and they split Anthony Smith on the left. Mike Ford, the quarterback, into his count. Takes it. Handing it off and going over the right side, getting out to the 40-yard line and spinning his way forward with a great second effort is the fullback, Tim Johnson, running very well. He brings it out close to the 45-yard line and Joe Hornick, who is now in there at tackle, and Todd Bell, the safety man, make the tackle, but not until he has a first down up around the 45-yard line. They just took Byron Cato into the dressing room and they had him on one of the little golf carts and uh, he was holding his right leg. We'll get a check on that to find out just what happened to Byron Cato. That was a 13-yard pickup at his first and 10 SMU on their own 45-yard line and running with the ball straight ahead is Darrell Turner and he is spun down after short yardage by Paul Ross, Tom Cousinaw, and Todd Bell. Give him a yard, make it second down, nine yards to go. 8.29 left to play in the first half. 21 to 14 Southern Methodist out in front of Ohio State. And they continue to alternate Derek Shelton and Darrell Turner as uh, Shelton has just now come into the lineup. And Mike Randall has replaced Mike Jusko at the right tackle position offensively for Southern Methodist. Now the quarterback Ford going back to throw at his 38 yard line. He fires downfield and it is incomplete in and out of the hands of Anthony Smith. Double uh, coverage back there. Mike Guess and Ray Ellis both back there for the Buckeyes. And that makes it third down nine SMU at their 46 yard line. We're down 21 to 14. Southern Methodist is leading his Ken with about eight, uh, a little over eight minutes to go in this first half. And if uh, the Buckeyes don't make a few adjustments in their secondary, their pass coverage here at halftime, I think we could be in for a long afternoon. We've got some problems there. Now Tolbert again wide on the left side. Back goes Ford to throw. He throws a screen, and it is caught by number 31, Tim Johnson. And Johnson is tackled by Tom Cousinaw. Right there at the 46-yard line, he is uh, taken down, and that will make it a fourth down situation. And they're going to have to kick. Rosenthal has averaged 34 yards with two kicks, one of 31, one of 37. He gets ready to do the kicking, and he punts one high in the air to it. Mike Guess. Yes, it is 20. Running to his right to the 25, and Mike is swarmed down at about the 28-yard line. 
Let's pause for station identification. WTBN 610 Radio Columbus. The time, Monday morning, 740. This is a random call from the telephone book. That's with John Frame. You can win our jackpot plus a $1,000 bonus. Leave the dial right here. Could mean a $1,000. At the 27-yard line, where it's spotted to this first down and 10 yards to go for Ohio State. As Arch to the quarterback, hands it off, and there are penalty markers all over the place as Paul Campbell was about to take the football. But we see them uh, all over, and it's a legal procedure on the Buckeyes. So from the 27 back to the 22, first and 15. Dave Purdy, do you have a report on us uh, on Byron Cato? Yes, what I understand, Bob, is Byron, uh, whether from a knee or a helmet, uh, has a thigh bruise, he will not be back in the game today. All righty, Dave Purdy, thank you. First and 15, Ohio State at their own 22-yard line, moving from left to right, from the close to the open end of the stadium, 727 left to play in this first half. As the quarterback, Schleister, takes, keeps, and is going to be spilled for a loss. Maybe uh, got back to the line of scrimmage after all as Perry Hartnett, a 255-pound freshman from Galveston, Texas, makes the tackle for the SMU Mustangs. The end of the first period, Arizona and Michigan are tied at 7-7. Seven and seven. End of the first period, Notre Dame over Michigan State, 7-3. And at the half, Oklahoma leads Texas, 17-3. Second down, 15 yards to go now for Ohio State. Schleister fakes, keeps the ball, comes across the 25, moves it on out to the 28-yard line. A pickup of five, and that's going to make it third down and about nine and a half yards to go for a first down. Very close to 10 yards to go for the first down for the Buckeyes with six minutes and 35 seconds left to play in the first half, and they trail SMU 21 to 14. Gerald going out wide on the left as the split end. Donnelly is slot back out there with him. And the quarterback goes back. Schleister firing long downfield and it is incomplete and almost intercepted intended for Calvin Murray and David Hill was with him stride for stride. It goes as an incompletion. So the Buckeyes have themselves in another uh, situation where they're going to have to kick the football. Tommy Orris has punted one time, 45 yards, and D.K. Perry is back deep again. He's a man who can break it, and he's already won a run uh, one punt back for touchdown this year. Here is a high, booming kick from Orris. It is caught on the 20 by Perry. He moves to his right. He's got a lot of room. He's back at his 15-yard line looking for blocking. He's up to the 19-yard line, and he is spun to the earth. And making the tackle, Ray Ellis, a splendid open field tackle as Perry was trying to get running room, and he took him at the 19-yard line. A 53-yard uh, kick and a minus yard, one yard on the return. At the 19-yard line of SMU, the Mustangs have the ball. Tom Morris, by the way, Ken, is averaging uh, 44 yards a punt. We have a real good, solid kicking game this year with Tom Morris. A splendid kicking game. He's not only punting beautifully, but he's kicking off very well, too. Now Tolbert coming out wide on the left side, and they've got Anthony Smith out to the right at the 19. First down, 10 yards to go. Mike Ford, the quarterback, looking over the defense, now dropping straight back to throw it. And he slips a short one, and it is not caught at the 18-yard line by the fullback, Tim Johnson, coming out of the back. Field, and Tim would have had some running room. There wasn't anybody around him when he dropped the ball. He was a little bit over anxious. So it is second down 10 at the 19-yard line of the Southern Methodist Mustangs, who a couple of weeks ago, they didn't play last week, but they played a very tough game against Penn State, and they were leading them 21-12 to in the third quarter when they had a couple of turnovers that cost them. At the 19, second down, 10, and the quarterback again into his call. He goes straight back to throw it. Fires on the right side. The ball is caught out there at the 23-yard line by Darrell Turner, and he's wrapped down immediately by Kelton Dantzler. Good play by Dantzler. That'll make it third down and six yards to go at the 23-yard line. Five minutes and 50 seconds left to play in the first half. A real battle here today. Southern Methodist coming in and playing it tough. Tolbert coming out wide on the left. Skilling is out there covering on him. Smith is to the right. 
Ford, the quarterback, goes back to throw it. He is pumping once, starts to run. Comes to the 25, is here to the 27, and Al Washington wraps him down at the 27-yard line. And that's a pickup of four yards on the play. And that's going to make it a fourth down situation again and a couple to get. And they will call again on Rosenthal. And guess is going back deep for the Buckeyes. Mike is standing at his 39-yard line. Rosenthal is in to do the kicking, standing at his 14. Here is the snap. It's a good one. He's got plenty of time, and he booms this one. Long kick coming down toward Guess. He takes it at the 29, shakes a tackle at the 30, starts to go to his right, and is hit at the 31-yard line. It is 21 to 14. SMU leads, and action will continue after this from Motorist Insurance Companies. Insurance. You know us. At the Ohio State 31, Ricky Johnson gets the call, goes over the right side, and comes out to the 34-yard line where Harvey Armstrong makes the tackle. He got three, and it will be second down and seven now for Ohio State. That was a 44-yard punt a moment ago and a two-yard run back by Mike Gish. Schleesch to the quarterback. Keeps the ball as he rolls over the right side after faking and brings it out across the 35-yard line to the 37. He got three yards, and Putt Choate is there to make the tackle. All Southwest Conference last year, and they're touting him for All-American. At the 37-yard line, it'll be third down, four to go. Putt is probably on defense their strongest player, Ken. He's legitimately is an All-American candidate. Third and four Buckeyes at their 37. They're trying to get something generated now. Schleister back to throw. Looking, throwing, and Barwig slipped and fell, and the ball went behind him. It is an incompletion, and the wetness started to show a little bit then as he uh, simply uh, slipped and fell, and it is fourth and four Buckeyes at their 37, and Orris will have to kick. Well, the Southern Methodist defense, uh, Ken, is almost the same as last year, but uh, they're a little quicker, a little stronger, and they're playing a lot harder this year. And I think they have a stake in suspicion right now that they can beat us. John Hutchings in to snap the ball, and Orris gets one high in the air, going down to Perry at the 15-yard line, and he comes up the left side to the 20, the 25, 30, 35, 40, and is knocked out of bounds at the 42. He was on the near side, and instead of sweeping to the right as he did last time, he simply cut straight up the uh, left side, and Tommy Orris, who kicked the ball, makes the tackle. He's dangerous any time he gets that football, and he brought it back out to the SM 42-yard line, giving them excellent uh, field position, a 49-yard kick, but a 26-yard run back at the 42-yard line, first down, and 10 yards to go. And here's Ford throwing on the right side. And this one is caught at the 50-yard line and running it into the Buckeye 45, tackled by Skilling, is Robert Fisher, the big 230-pound tight end. The ball at the 46-yard line of the Buckeyes when they bring it to the inbounds marker. First down and 10. 3.49 left to play in the first half. SMU 21 and Ohio State 14. Emmanuel Tolbert coming out to the left. Anthony Smith is to the right. Mike Ford at quarterback, handing it off and running with it up the middle and then off to the left inside the 40 and buzzing his way into about the 36-yard line. Derek Shelton, the leading rusher on this team going in, skilling and Bell making the tackle for the Buckeyes. Might be enough for another first down. It looked like he managed to get about 10, but I think the officials will uh, once more check it to see. They're bringing the markers in again. Well, if Southern Methodist picks up this first down here, I think you're going to see the Buckeye fans starting to squirm around a little bit in their seats. Well, they got it. It is a first down at the 36-yard line. They have been very, very tough today. They have come right in here and are sticking it in hard. Southern Methodist definitely has the momentum, but I think uh, probably in almost every aspect of the game so far today, they're beating us. Their defense is beating us. Uh, uh, their offensive line is handling us pretty well. I think Mike Ford right about now can write his own ticket. At the 36-yard line, first down and 10 in Ohio State territory. The ball is uh, flipped back and running over the right side is Darrell Turner. And Turner runs uh, into about the 33-yard line where he is tackled by Kelton Dantzler and Al Washington. So at the 33, it will be second down and seven yards to go for Southern Methodist. 
a breeze coming up now and some dark clouds overhead with three minutes left to play in this first half and Tolbert coming out to the left. Anthony Smith is split on the right side. They go to the I formation. Skilling is out here on Tolbert by himself. Ford looking around now and uh, he got mixed up and he's calling for time. He apparently wanted Elton Garrett, his tight end, to do something besides whatever it was he was doing. He was lined up on the right side and they have called for a timeout. I think he wanted him on the left side. Well, Ken, I'll say one thing. I sure hope that Arch Fleister shows the uh, the improvement in uh, his first year to the second year as Mike Ford has done from when we saw him last year. Just a, a tremendous amount of seasoning. Yes, sir. He is really mature out here this afternoon. This quarter is being brought to you by Motorist Insurance Companies. Remember, life, auto, home, or business, Motorist Insurance serves you. And while we have just a moment here, I'd like to say hello to our listeners down in Chillicothe, listening to WB and to everyone in Marion listening up there on WMRN. Good to have all you Buckeye fans with us this afternoon. Although it's not a particularly delightful score we pass along here, SMU leading is 21 to 14. Uh, the Buckeyes have not been able to get a, a good, consistent uh, drive going where they could mount some momentum. And Southern Methodist has had almost a uh, free reign here this afternoon. And their quarterback, Mike Ford, the sophomore, big youngster, 6'3", 200 and some, 210, 215 pounds, is doing an outstanding job. His wide receivers, Elton Garrett and uh, uh, Emmanuel Tolbert, are looking very good. With action, here's Ken. At the 32-yard line, it is second down and six yards to go. Tolbert wide to the left, and back goes the quarterback to throw it. And he fires it to his tight end at the 30, and Elton Garrett runs it into the 27-yard line where Tom Cousinaw and Vince Skilling make the tackle for Ohio State. So that's what he wanted him to do. He wanted him on that left side. He got him there, and he brought it into the 27-yard line, and that will make it third down and one yard to go for Southern Methodist. Coach Ron Myers uh, calling a pretty heady game. He's using his backfield uh, uh, quite well this afternoon. Apparently he's gone over some uh, previous Buckeye games this year, some of those films, and sees just what he needs to see. And he's been alternating, uh, keeping fresh backs in there throughout the afternoon. Ford fakes, goes back, fires long, and it is intercepted. No, he didn't intercept it. Down around the one-yard line, two Buckeyes were up for the ball, Bell and Ellis. They collided, and Ellis finally couldn't keep possession of the ball. There wasn't a Mustang near either one of them. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. He got it. He intercepted the ball at the one. Ellis did keep it. So it will go to Ohio State on their own one-yard line, first down and 10 yards to go, two minutes and a second left to play in the first half. Ellis and Bell both back there. They collided, and Ellis did indeed come down with a football. First and 10 at the one. I misinterpreted the official's call. Now the quarterback handing off, and Calvin Murray crams up the middle, and Eric Ferguson, linebacker, is in there to make the stop. 220-pound freshman from Houston. As uh, he got a little bit of breathing room, bringing the ball from the one-yard line on out to the four. And it is second down and seven yards to go with a minute and 40 seconds left to play in the first half on the Buckeyes trailing SMU, 21 to 14. Doug Donnelly is going very wide on the left side. And Gary Pickens is out there to cover him. And angling left and then cutting over the left tackle is Schleister. And he brings it across the five and on out to the eight-yard line. Art Schleister is tackled again by Eric Ferguson. They've got a lot of freshmen on this team for Southern Methodist as they are attempting to turn their football program around. And SMU, with the ball at the eight, calling for a timeout. The score, SMU 21, Ohio State 14. Action will continue after this from Motorist Insurance Company. A minute and 18 seconds to go in the first half with Southern Methodist leading Ohio State 21 to 14. And I'm sure that Coach Hayes is going to go over his game plan at halftime to see if he doesn't need some revisions in some areas. And uh, unless my figures are off, I don't think we've thrown a pass as yet. Is that, uh, is that right, Tim? We haven't thrown any passes. And uh, it's just one of those things that, uh, that seems like the Buckeyes, as of the moment, are playing with about a half an offense. And with more play-by-play, -play, here's Ken. It's about third and three at the eight-yard line. Schleister coming over right tackle, and he gets to the nine and is pounded down at the nine-yard line by Eric Ferguson, the freshman linebacker who's doing quite a job. 
So at the nine, it's going to be fourth down, and the Buckeyes are a couple of yards shy of the first down. Tommy Orris has punted very well today, averaging 49, his longest 53, and he will have to kick it to D.K. Perry. Well, uh, when I had mentioned that uh, I'm not sure whether or not they had thrown a pass, it's they have not completed a pass over three. That's how small a part of the offense that uh, today that the passing game has played. Art Schleister is 0 for 3 passing. Boris, out of the uh, snap of Hutchings, will be kicking from about five yards back in his end zone, and SMU's got a whole bunch of people right up there in that front line. Perry is standing at midfield waiting for the kick. And here is the snap from center. Here comes the rush. And Tom gets it way up in the air. Fine kick. It is going to be caught at the 45-yard line by Perry in his own territory. He's back inside his 40, coming up the left side of the 45, and he is going to be knocked out of bounds at his own 49-yard line. He covers a lot of ground, I'll tell you. He goes all over the place. He snaked back, then he turned and came up the left side, a 46-yard kick, and eventually a three-yard run back to his own 49-yard line, and Paul Campbell was the man who made the tackle on the play. So SMU on their own 49, first down and 10, 57 seconds left to play in the first half. SMU leads it 21 to 14. They've got Tolbert out wide on the right. They've got Smith on the left, and Ford is going to pitch it, and he does to Elton Garrett. He takes it at the Buckeye 48, slips, is hit by a Buckeye or two. Vince Skilling was the first man to him, and Todd Bell came along to help out and a couple of more. The ball to the Buckeye 47-yard line, a gain of four. It'll be second down and six to go. And you know, this fellow is just liable to wind up and throw that long one. Let's see what he does here. Ford with a quick out pass, and Tolbert caught it and slipped and fell immediately, and Dantzler made the tackle. He got very close, maybe he did make the first down. They might measure to see whether he, he did make it or not in around the 41-yard line. He did not. Third down, inches to go, and again, the quick out pass is incomplete. This quarter has been brought to you by Motorist Insurance Companies. Remember, life, auto, home, or business, Motorist Insurance serves you. Dantzler was on the coverage that time of uh, Tolbert. The clock shows 10 seconds, and it is fourth down and one. And Mike Ford went to the sideline to check with his coach and see what they want to do. He's bringing them out. He has Tolbert coming wide to the left, skilling his covering, and Bell is kind of over there maybe to help some too, and he's edging that way. But the handoff goes uh, to a running back, Tim Johnson, going over the right side and running the ball in to the 38-yard line of the Buckeyes, which is enough for a first down with five seconds left. Now Garcia is in to try a 54-yard field goal. He is going to attempt a 54-yard field goal. The officials are checking with each other now. Make it a 55-yard field goal. Here's the snap. And the kick is going to be very uh, low and off to the left side. So it goes for naught, but the time has run out. That is the end of the first half, and the score is Southern Methodist 21 and Ohio State 14. This is the Ohio State Football Network. Time at uh, Columbus, Ohio, at Ohio Stadium on what has now become, after uh, an overcast morning and a sunny beginning to this football game, a gloomy, chilly, overcast day at Ohio Stadium, but brightened as always by the great Ohio State marching band, which is down on the field. SMU leads by a score of 21 to 14 at halftime as both teams have gone to the locker rooms. And certainly, Bob Connors, uh, we can look for some kind of a wing-ding second half this afternoon. There's no doubt about it, Ken. The Buckeyes, I think, uh, went into the locker room just somewhat deflated. Uh, the momentum obviously went over towards Southern Methodist uh, early in the uh, second period, and it's just retained. The Southern Methodist has just kept it all. Uh, they've been beating us at almost every aspect of our game this afternoon and uh, to be perfectly honest with you that just ain't good and they're doing it here in Ohio and there's uh, some murmuring going on in the stands uh, Arch Schleister is only uh, 0 for 3 as
as far as passing is concerned, we've had some decent attacks. Art uh, scored on a the uh, first score, 12-26. Art on a 23-yard uh, keeper around the left end. Uh, they came back with Derek Shelton on a one-yard run off an 81-yard drive. And with five minutes to go, Mike Ford to uh, Elton Garrett, 11-yard touchdown pass in the end zone. That was the scoring in the first period. The second quarter, Paul Campbell on a one-yard plunge, his third touchdown of the year. And then Mike Ford with a one-yard quarterback keeper right over the middle and a two-yard or a uh, two-point conversion to Emmanuel Tolbert out of the backfield. And that was all the scoring there was. And that's the way she looks. At halftime, it's 21 to 14, Southern Methodist over Ohio State. And we're just about ready to go with second half play-by-play. And with more Buckeye football, the voice of the Buckeyes, here's Ken Coleman. Thank you very much, Bob. And Eddie Garcia is getting ready to kick off. Rod Gerald, Ty Hicks, and Calvin Murray are back deep. He's working from the close to the open end of the stadium. SMU leads it 21 to 14. And here is the kickoff starting the second half. It is coming up field. Murray takes it at the 10. Straight ahead, 15, 20, angles left, 30. And he's up to the 35, the 40, the 45, and he is knocked out of bounds at the 48-yard line. A fine piece of running by Calvin Murray, and the Buckeyes get excellent field position as we go to the second half of play. And incidentally, the tackle on that play by Eddie Garcia, the most completed passes against the Buckeyes in one game, Chuck Hickson of this team, SMU, in 1968, he had 37 in one game. Two wide receivers are out on the right for Ohio State as Art Schleister, the quarterback, drops back to throw. He's looking and firing long downfield for Donley, and it is out of bounds on the far side of the field down around the 20-yard line. It'll be second down and 10 at the 48-yard line. Tim Vogler is at center. Jim Savoka and Ken Fritz, the guards. Keith Ferguson and Tim Brown are the tackles. Jimmy Moore is the tight end. The quarterback is Schleister. Murray and Campbell are the running backs, and Donnelly is the wide receiver, and he is out to the right. Now we notice that Tom Waugh is in there playing at center. Second down and 10, and here's Schleister rolling right, keeps the ball across midfield of the 49-yard line of SMU. Tackled there by Putt Choate. He picks up three. It'll be third down and seven yards to go. For the Mustangs, Gary Nelson, Harvey Armstrong, Pete Muse, and Jerry Kovar up front. The backers are Smith, Tweedy Hunt, and Putt Choate. The cornermen, David Hill and Charles Bruton. And the safeties, Tim Jones and D.K. Perry. Doug Donnelly comes wide left. On the right side is Rod Gerald. Third down seven at the 49-yard line. And back goes Schleister, faking, looking to throw, and gunning the ball upfield. Did he catch it on the bounce? Yes. It is an incompleted pass for Jimmy Moore. He took it on the first top, and it'll be fourth down seven for Ohio State at the SMU 49. They'll have to give it up. Tom Orris today has been excellent. He's punted four times, an average of 48 yards. G.K. Perry, a game-breaking uh, back, is back at his 10-yard line. As we get ready for the snap from center, it is a low snap, and the kick coming upfield is grabbed a fumble by Perry, and the Buckeyes have it. I believe the Buckeyes have it, and it is Rick Foley. Ohio State's football at the 24-yard line of SMU. And so we have a very big break here. A 29-yard kick, and Perry fumbled the ball, and Ohio State has it. Now, if you remember two weeks ago, SMU was leading 21-12 to over Penn State in the third quarter, and a couple of key turnovers turned that around, and Penn State beat them 26-21. So let's see if the Buckeyes can capitalize. Schleister hands the ball off and driving straight ahead and getting into the 20-yard line is Calvin Murray with Gary Nelson making the tackle at the 20-yard line. It is second down and six to go. Murray picking up four yards. And Ernie Andrea now is in there to bring in a play. And Rod Gerald is coming out wide on the left. Donnelly is slotted on the left side inside Rod. Second down and six at the 20-yard line of SMU. The Buckeyes with a big break. It is Campbell going straight ahead and getting into the 17-yard line, knifing into a small hole, and Gary Nelson is there to take him down. He is a senior linebacker. 
And the ball stands at the 17. It'll be third down coming up now for the Buckeyes. And they need three for the first down. Uh, Dave Purdy is down on the sideline uh, with an injury report for us, David. Yes, as Ken said, Tom Law is now centering for Tim Vogler. I guess he does have a, Tim has a bruised thumb, which is going to hinder him from centering. Third down three at the 17-yard line. And here's Schleister now out of the robust tee. Hands the ball off and knocking over the left side of the line and getting into about the 15, maybe the 14-yard line. Fumble, fumble, and it is going over to SMU. A fumble, and SMU has recovered the ball at the 14-yard line, and the Mustangs will have it. I am not certain who it was that came up with that ball, but it is at the 14, and I believe it was the man who fumbled it himself a moment ago, D.K. Perry. In any event, it is the Mustangs' ball at the 14-yard line in their own territory, first and 10, moving from left to right as we look down at the field from our broadcasting booth. Mike Ford back to throw, fires on the right side, caught at the 19-yard line, and running it out to the 23 is Elton Garrett, the very big tight end from Dallas. Tom Cousinaw there to make the tackle for the Buckeyes. The gain is nine, and it will be second down and one as we set the defense. Ross, Doolin, um, Hornick, and Dantzler up front with Sullivan, Cousinaw, and Washington backing. Skilling, Bell, Guess, and Mills are the deep backs for the Buckeyes, or we see now that Ellis is in there, not Lenny Mills. It is uh, second down and one to go at the 23-yard line. And running over the left side, getting to the 25 and spinning to the 26-yard line is Derek Shelton. And Cousinaw is again there on the tackle, but enough for the first down at the 26-yard line of SMU. Mike Ford is at quarterback. He has Johnson in there as his fullback. Robert Barnes is in there at left tackle now, but he is uh, limping to the sideline, and Lee Spivey will replace him. Peterson is at center. Mike Mason and Joe Bays, who's a captain today at the guards. The tackles, Spivey and Jusko. Garrett is the tight end. And Mike Ford, as we have a an injury delay here for the moment, uh, is working at quarterback, and he's alternating his receivers and running backs. Ken, while we have a second, let's check in with Dave Ferdy on the condition of Byron Cato. Dr. Bob Murphy stated that Byron Cato had a severe thigh bruise, like I stated earlier in the game, and uh, like uh, he did say he would not be playing the rest of this game. All right, David, we thank you very much. Dave Ferdy, who's with us on all the games, home and away, travels the sidelines and gets some fantastic information for us from time to time. The score is 21 to 14, Southern Methodist over Ohio State. Time is back in now, and Ken Coleman with more action. At the 26-yard line of the Mustangs, SMU first down and 10. They send Tolbert out wide to the left. Guess is out there along with him. And uh, the quarterback goes back to throw it and fires it up on the right to Smith at the 40. He's out to the 45, getting up close to the 50, and knocked out of bounds right at the 50-yard line. Anthony Smith from Houston. Tackled by Al Washington and Ray Ellis, but the pickup on the play is 24 yards to the 50-yard line. But hold on. It is being brought back, and there is a penalty marker down, and it's going to be against SMU. I think we're going to see a holding penalty here, Ken. It might slow them down just a little bit, slow their momentum down, and give our defense a chance to shoot some people in there because I think that's what we're going to have to start doing is, uh, is just sending some people in to get to Ford. Well, he is uh, extremely quick at setting up, and especially in his short passing game, but even in his medium passing game as there. And uh, the ball is being moved back now to the 13-yard line. You know, it's difficult to determine whether or not the, he's beating us with that short passing game or whether we're giving it to him. You know, you hear it both ways, and, uh, and I sure like to think that uh, that's what we're giving him is that short stuff and denying him the long gainers. It is first and 23 at the 13 on the holding penalty, and Ford hands the ball off, and his fullback, Tim Johnson, bucks up the middle and takes it out to uh, the 18-yard line on a gain of five, and Al Washington is there on the tackle for the Buckeyes, and that will make it second down. Next week, Bob and I will be visiting at uh, Purdue. The Boilermakers and the Buckeyes will be going at it. Second down and 18 to go. Up at the 18-yard line, Ford goes back to throw after faking, 
Hits up at the 21-yard line, and running with it is Derek Shelton, and he's out to the 27-yard line, and Jim Laughlin from Lindhurst in there to make the tackle for the Buckeyes, as he is in there to add a little speed to that defensive unit at the present time. Jim Laughlin at the 27-yard line, and that will make it third down and nine for SMU. 11.44 left to play in the third quarter. Southern Methodist 21 and Ohio State 14, if you just joined us. Emmanuel Tolbert is going out wide left. Split on the right is Anthony Smith. They're in the tee, and the quarterback, Mike Ford, goes back to throw it and guns it down on the right side. Incomplete at the 40, penalty marker down. The intended receiver, Smith, had slipped and fallen at the 40-yard line, but the flag was back at about the 32 or 33, and we're going to get a uh, penalty, apparently, against Southern Methodist here. Uh, that was Derek Shelton, Ken. He was, uh, I think when he made his cut across there, he was pushing off on one of our linebackers. That's what they're going to call on that. So uh, they are conferring with uh, Ford now. And Ford is going to the sideline, and the kicker, Rosenthal and company, will come in. And uh, we will have the punt here uh, momentarily. Four punts for Rosenthal for an average of 36 and a half yards today. He is standing in his end zone. The ball has been spotted back at the 14-yard line. He is one yard deep. Mike Guess is standing at the SMU 48-yard line. SMU leading it. 21 to 14 as here we have the snap and a high rush and it's blocked. It is blocked and running in there for a touchdown for the Buckeyes. Al Washington, he grabbed it in the air, took it in for the touchdown. It is 21 to 20 SMU as they block the kick. And Al Washington with the ball up in the air, grabbed it in the end zone, touchdown Ohio State. And now, let's see what they'll do. Yonikievsky is going in to try to tie it. Vlada Yonikievsky will be attempting the point after touchdown out of the hold of Greg Castagnola. So they really came pouring through the block at about three people getting in there at once. The ball is down, the kick is up. The kick is up to the right and no good. And so SMU leads it 21 to 20. And action will continue in 30 seconds. We're back at Ohio Stadium with 11.34 to go in the third period. The Buckeyes now out in front. Al Washington just scored on a block punt. And the Buckeyes lead at 21 to 20, give them a little breathing room. Our defense has been on the field for quite a bit this afternoon. Uh, what? That's right, 21 20, SMU. We're one behind. All right. With Dave Purdy hollering in my ear. Dave, you catch everything down there. And what's up here, too, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. With more play-by-play, -play, here's Ken. Okay, Bob. And uh, now let's see what happens as we get ready for Tommy Orris to kick it off. And once again, D.K. Perry, Joe Morgan's cousin, is standing back at the goal line down to our left. 11.34 left to play in the third quarter. And the Buckeyes have capitalized on a couple of opportunities here in this third period of play. As Orris comes up and belts one. Oh man, does he hit this one. Right down to the end line of the goal line and it will come to SMU on the 20. First down and 10 to go for the Mustangs there. Yes, sir, we'll be at Purdue next week and looking forward to having you with us here on the Ohio State Football Network. Now the Buckeyes trailing 21 to 20 as Southern Methodist has the ball and Mike Ford, their fine sophomore quarterback, gets ready to go to work. He is 47 out of 84 throwing the ball, 56% going into the action today. Now Emmanuel Tolbert is coming out wide to the right and Anthony Smith is split on the left side as Ford gets set. Quarterback into his count, fakes, goes back to throw, fires, hits up at the 35-yard line. The catch made by Anthony Smith. He is hit right now by Ray Ellis and by Al Washington. A good hard hit, but it is a 15-yard pickup out to the 35, and they are really uh, threading the needle when they're hitting in there around uh, those medium-sized uh, passes that he's throwing today, medium-length. First and 10, SMU at their own 35-yard line. 
as he brings him again into the I formation. He's been faking a lot to Johnson and then setting up out of play pass action. He takes it, hands it off, and it is Shelton going over the left side, looking for room and getting um, a little bit of room and taking the ball up to the 37-yard line. Dantzler and Washington and Hornick are there to make the tackle for Ohio State at the 37-yard line, so it is second down and eight yards to go for Southern Methodist. They lead by one point over the Buckeyes, 21 to 20, as now we have two men coming out wide on the right. One of them is Smith, and the slot back is Tolbert, and Mike Ford gets ready again. The quarterback goes back straight to throw. Fires down on the right for Tolbert, and he doesn't get this one. He was hit very hard by Mike Guess and also by Jim Laughlin. He really had to feel that. And it goes as an incompleted pass. He was almost in between the two defenders. But it will now be third down, eight to go at the 37-yard line of SMU. And so far in the second half, they've been able to cut them off. And they had the block kick and the touchdown. Again, Tolbert coming out wide on the right. And Vince Skilling is out there along with him. Anthony Smith is out to the left. And back goes the quarterback forward, and he throws it. And it is incomplete. Ray Ellis leaping in the air, covering on Anthony Smith at the 44-yard line of the Buckeyes. And Smith injured on the play. Anthony Smith is hurt. And it's going to be a fourth down and eight at the 37-yard line as they will have to call on Rosenthal to kick it. But the officials now are tending to uh, Smith or seeing to it that the trainers do, and the officials are calling for a timeout on themselves. It is 21 to 20 SMU leads, and action will continue in 30 seconds. The Strobe Brewery Company, Detroit, Michigan. Okay, now Rosenthal in to kick, and this time he gets it away. It's an end-over-end wobbly kick taken at the 25-yard line of the Buckeyes by Guess out to the 30, 35, and onto the 38, 39-yard line. Mike Guess running it back, and the Buckeyes will go to the offense again on their own 39. On the last uh, one that was blocked, it was either Atropolis or Dantzler, or both, who were in there on the play for the Buckeyes to block it. The kick, 38 yards. The return by Guess, 14. Buckeyes at their 39-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Third quarter, 10-15 left. And back goes Schleister to throw. Fires it on the left side and hits Donnelly, who makes the catch up at the 46-yard line and jumps right out of bounds. Now, that's just a good short-out pattern similar to what SMU's been doing throughout the afternoon. Good for a pickup of about 7 yards to the 46, and it is second down and uh, maybe about two and a half yards to go for the first down. John Simmons made the tackle on the play. Okay, here's Schleister handing off. He keeps the ball and runs it up to the 50-yard line. He did a good piece of taking to the running back powering up the middle and then took it over the left side to the midfield stripe. First down, Buckeyes, as we pause for station identification. The radio. When do you listen to the radio? When do you listen to WTVN 610? Well, I... Uh... Sports Watch with Dave Barr and Don Alexander is coming up. Call in, comment on the game, get all the scores. From WTVN Radio Columbus, 610 Radio. Calvin Murray gets the call, and from the 50-yard line, going over right tackle, runs it into the 47-yard line of Southern Methodist, and Putt Choate takes him down there, a gain of three. It will be second down and seven to go at the 47-yard line of Southern Methodist. The Buckeyes trail 21 to 20 here in the third quarter. As they come out into the I formation, they have Gerald split on the right. They have Donnelly flanked out on the left. The quarterback, Schleister, Fakes, goes back to throw, fires, and hits Donnelly at the 34-yard line. Good catch on a low bullet at the 35-yard line, and Jerry Kovar, the freshman defensive end, makes the tackle at the 35, and Ohio State has another first down, moving the ball judiciously now here in this third period. That's the best pass Art's thrown all afternoon, Ken. You got it right in there between the linebacker and the defensive back, and, and uh, a good completion. Now they go to uh, Johnson and Volley in the backfield, and Schleister keeps the ball. He's running inside the 30, keeps his balance, keeps his feet, runs it on down to about the 26-yard line before they get him down. And that will make it second down and one. Second and one at the 26, a good piece of running over the left side 
by the quarterback, Art Schleister. The tackler was Jerry Kovar, the very good freshman performer for Southern Methodist. Now, Donnelly goes out to the right. Gerald is split to the left. Second down, one. The flip goes to uh, Ricky Johnson over right tackle inside the 20 and gunning it down to the 15-yard line. Ricky Johnson, who can just put on a tear when he wants to, from Santa Maria, California, takes it in just outside the 15-yard line, and it is first and 10 for the Buckeyes. Jim Savoka taking those plays uh, in, the offensive plays in, and they're, they're running, getting these plays off in a hurry. They want to keep the momentum. It's just outside the 15-yard line. Schleister handing off. He gives it to Johnson again. And he uh, slashes forward and gets into about the 12-yard line. Perry Harnett and Harvey Armstrong, the tackles, both in on the stop. He's a reckless runner, Johnson. And he takes it to the 12 with his second down and seven yards to go for the first down for Ohio State. Eight minutes, eight seconds left to play here in this third quarter, and the clock moving along. Campbell is in there now for the Buckeyes. And he's up there in the fullback slot, up front and back of the quarterback. And it is a pitch out. And here's Johnson for the touchdown. Over the right side, Ricky Johnson after a great fake to Campbell. He rolled right on the option, flipped it back to Ricky Johnson, and he roared in for the score. 12-yard scoring play. And the Buckeyes have moved it 61 yards for a touchdown and take the lead 26-21. Terry Hartnett had a shot at him, so did Jerry Kovar, but they could not contain Ricky Johnson, and he has come up with a big score now, and the Buckeyes have been on the board twice here in this third quarter. Well, Coach Hayes wants a timeout here, Ken. Coach Hayes has yep. called a timeout. Well, let's see. He very possibly, with a 26-21 to 21 lead, Bob is going to try to go for the two. It would make a lot of sense, obviously, because that would mean that SMU, if they were to come back, if Ohio State indeed gets the two, to make it 28 to 21, well, if uh, SMU does not uh, want to settle for less than a victory, they, of course, a long way to go, but I mean, for the moment at least, if they come back, they'd have to get eight. They'd have to get the six and the two. Well, all the fans uh, are listening this afternoon on the uh, network, it's that's one of those things. What would you do? What are you going to do with it? Well, they're going to go for it as Arch Schleister is in there looking very delighted about the whole situation. And the Buckeyes will go for the two. They have used up a timeout, but that's okay. They've got Rod Gerald in there. They've got Donnelly in there. So they're going maybe thinking about throwing the ball. They're sending Donnelly out to the right. They're sending Gerald out to the left. And uh, they have Murray slotted a little bit on the left side. He goes in motion to the right, and Schleister takes it, goes back, and fires to Donnelly in the end zone. It is complete. The score is 28 to 21. Buckeyes in action will continue in 30 seconds. This is Ken Coleman along with Bob Connors at a very excited Ohio Stadium. The Buckeyes lead it now 28 to 21 as they went to a new formation with a man in motion to the right, Calvin Murray, and then gunned it in there to uh, Doug Donnelly, who made a second reception of this drive. Great play. Dave Purdy's on the sideline. David, you have a comment on that new formation as a former quarterback? Well, it's good to see those new formations, and yet it's also important, I mentioned, that we do have those closed practices, so we can close in once in a while. What well, was the play? Maybe a lot of Buckeye fans uh, might remember it. Well, it's, I haven't seen it. First time I've seen it. It's what they call a man in motion, Dave. <laughs> Here's the kickoff going down to Perry. He is taking it on the goal line. Back to the 5, the 10, up to the left, 15, 20, along the sideline, over the 25, and he is pounded down at the 29-yard line, and he just went spinning through the air after he was hit by John Epitropoulos. Do you think that uh, Dave Birdie, being a former Ohio State quarterback, <laughs> just might not have been familiar with the man in motion? <laughs> the ball put down at the 29-yard line. We'll call it that. It's about halfway beyond the 25, 28. First down, 10 yards to go for Southern Methodist. And Mike Ford, the quarterback, an explosive performer, drops back to throw. Fires on the left side, and it is incomplete shouldn't have been in and out of the hands of Derek Shelton several times today Ford has thrown the ball well but 
on the short ones, they're a little bit over anxious and they start to go. Kelton Dantzler was there on the coverage and it is second down and 10 at the 29 yard line of Southern Methodist. Now, we see uh, Gary Smith in there, Anthony Smith's uh, brother, incidentally. He, he is out wide on the left side and the Buckeyes get a couple of men offside. Uh, Paul Ross came shooting across and so did Luther Henson. But the question is, were they drawn off or what? We will see. The flag's down. They're talking with uh, Mike Ford, so it appears to be against Ohio State. And it is. And they move the ball up five yards out to the 34-yard line where it will be second down and five. Second and five, and now uh, Anthony Smith comes back in, and Gary Smith goes out of the lineup. Smith to the left, Tolbert comes to the right, Guess is over to cover on him, and back goes Ford to throw it. Hard rush, and he's built for the loss back around the 25-yard line. The first man in there was number 16, Paul Ross, and then Luther Henson polished him off. At the 25-yard line, they lost nine. So uh, that is a big play as far as the Buckeyes are concerned, and it sets it up now with a uh, third down situation and a lot of yards to get. 14 of them. Third and 14. Quarterback Ford, again back to throw. He fires a short one up the middle. It is caught at the 30, and running it out to the 35-yard line, out of the backfield, Derek Shelton, tackled at the 35 by Al Washington. So at the 35, it will be fourth down coming up, and again, Southern Methodist will have to kick with a fourth and four. 6.46 left to play. Third quarter, Buckeyes lead 28-21. And Rosenthal is in to kick. Guess is back deep. Volley is up in front of him. A high snap. No rush this time. It goes down to Guess. Mike takes it at his 26 and spins and falls as he is hit at the 28-yard line. Jared Moore was the man on the tackle for Southern Methodist. The 39-yard kick and a two-yard run back at the 28 of the Buckeyes, first and 10. Byron Cato is uh, out for the rest of the game with a severely bruised thigh. Uh, for those of you wondering what happened to Byron Cato, severely bruised thigh, he is out of the game for the rest of the day. Ron Springs, uh, leg in a cast. He should be back. Uh, he should be running probably on that leg in about another week or so but they don't expect to see him for maybe another three games. Well, now, Bob, there's a conference down on the field indicating that we may have a penalty situation here, and indeed, uh, I think you're going to have a holding on uh, SMU if that's uh, if that is okay. They're picking up the flag there. We're at the 44-yard line. Well, yeah, and they're moving the ball back now, and uh, they're going to have to kick it over again. Let's see what would have happened here because the line of scrimmage where the Buckeyes would have started was their own 28, but from the 35-yard line of SMU, they're now marching off 15 yards, moving the ball back to the 20. So he'll be kicking from about his four, and that should give the Buckeyes much better field position as uh, Mike Guess is now standing up at his 48-yard line to uh, catch the punt of Rosenthal if he can get it away. The Buckeyes have blocked one already in this quarter. Here is the snap from center. It is low and a hard rush, but he gets it off. And Guest takes it at the 49-yard line, his own, takes it over the midfield stripe and over to the 44-yard line of SMU. And there it's going to be first down for the Buckeyes. So they picked up a lot of yardage. That was a 31-yard kick, a seven-yard run back. And instead of starting off on their own 28, they start off from the 44-yard line of SMU. First down and 10 yards to go. And Schleister goes back to throw. Fires a short dunker over the middle. It is incomplete. He was trying for Campbell coming out of the backfield, and it does not go. The Ohio State Football Network is 51 stations strong, and we'd like to say hello to everybody listening in Middletown over WPFD and in Mount Vernon on uh, WMVO. Nice to have you with us this afternoon. It is second down 10, and Schleister fakes, goes back to throw, fires one for Donnelly, 
and it is incomplete. Incomplete. He threw it low and hard, and uh, it bounced to Doug, and so it's an incompleted forward pass. Third down, 10 at the SMU 44-yard line. After not having an awful lot to look at last week as far as pass completions were concerned, I think Art's just getting all kinds of excited when he sees those lanes open, sees those people standing there. He says, I got one, and in his excitement, he just kind of underthrows. Now he's got two wide receivers out to the right. He's looking left, though, and firing for Calvin Murray at the 20-yard line. He's got it. He stepped out of bounds, though. Let's see, at the 16, he went on into the end zone, but he stepped out of bounds at the 16-yard line. He and Jimmy Miller both went down on the left. They had Gerald and Donnelly out on the right. It is a very big play into the 16-yard line, a 28-yard pickup, and the Buckeyes here in the third quarter have opened it up. First and 10 at the 16-yard line. Donnelly goes to the right, and out to the left comes Rod Gerald. Schleister at quarterback. He flips it off and running over the right tackle and taking it into the 12-yard line, Ricky Johnson. And Johnson brought down the Ron Springs, as you probably know if you uh, heard earlier during the week, will miss two or three ball games. He is out with the injury. The advance is into the 12. It is second down and six to go at the 12-yard line. 5.43 left to play in this third quarter. Ohio State leads Southern Methodist by a 28-21 score. Donnelly to the left, Gerald to the right. The quarterback rolling right and flipping it out. Johnson sweeping around the end and knocked out of bounds at the six. Ricky Johnson takes it in to the six-yard line. It looks as though he needs about a half a yard for a first down. Third and less than a yard to go, and they will go, I'm sure, to the robust tee. And there's our cheerleading. Yeah. Nick Volley is in there waving his hands. He's got Campbell in the middle, and Johnson, the three of them, in there. Joel Payton is not in this unit. And running with the ball is Campbell. He's inside the five. He's got the first down. It'll be first and goal for the Buckeyes. And Gary Nelson was there on the tackle for Southern Methodist. Ohio State now with 526 left. A chance to put another one on the board here in the third quarter. They have scored twice in this third period. Once on a block kick. First down and goal for the Buckeyes. And again, the robust tee with Campbell, the man in the middle. Schleister at quarterback with a seven-man front against him. And Schleister keeps the ball. He's coming around the left side and over for the touchdown. He had a trailer behind him, but he kept it on the option and carried it in for the score. Art Schleister scores, and the Buckeyes now lead it 34-21. to 21. Schleister for the score. A 44-yard drive in seven plays. That ought to give you some indication of his uh, own strength, Art Schleister, when he broke... Uh, uh, broke two tackles to get in there, and the last man tried to gang or tried to arm tackle, and he just walked right away from him. And that was D.K. Perry that he walked away from, and now Yonikieski puts the ball up in the air, and his kick is good. Ohio State 35, SMU 21 action continues in 30 seconds. This is Bob Connors with Ken Coleman at Ohio Stadium here in Columbus. The Buckeyes are out in front of SMU, 35 to 21. Five minutes, three seconds remaining in the third period. Arch Schleser just scored on a five-yard uh, run. Art is now 14 carries for 94 yards this afternoon. 94 yards for Art. I think maybe they'll uh, put Woody in the Hall of Fame every week from now on. <laughs> <laughs> part of the strategy. It's a different looking ball club out here in this second half. They have really come on with some uh, very fine efforts and uh, great passing. Here's the kick by Orris and for a change this one is short. Perry takes it at his 10 and goes left to the 15 over the 20 and is hit down at about the 22 yard line and Kelton Dantzler, a very busy man, is there to make the tackle for the Buckeyes. The ball is put down at the 23, and Southern Methodist will have it there. First down and 10 yards to go. Always remember, a dangerous club with that Mike Ford running the team at quarterback. Now the Buckeyes lead it, 35 to 21, 4.59 left to play, third quarter. 
Emmanuel Tolbert coming out wide on the right, and Gary Smith is out on the right. They have three receivers, as a matter of fact, out on the right side. As Ford goes back to throw it, and he fires up around the 40-yard line, and it was for Tolbert, and he's got it in a crowd. Paul Ross is there to make the tackle on the play for the Buckeyes, but it's on to the 41, and it is first down and 10 yards to go for SMU. You simply cannot count this team out of any kind of a game when they're only uh, down where they are. 18 first downs now for the Mustangs as Mike Ford, the quarterback, goes back to throw. And fires went over the middle to Johnson, his fullback, coming out of the backfield. He's up to the 49-yard line, close to the 50, and Cousinor takes him down at midfield. That's his 39th pass he's thrown this afternoon. He's uh, 25 of 39 and 63% completions for Mike Ford from Southern Methodist. He is throwing the ball a lot. The most attempts passing, Chuck Hickson against Ohio State in uh, 68. He threw 69 times, if you can imagine, in that game. First down 10 at the 50, and this is Derek Shelton trying the left side, and he's not going to get anything. Shelton Dantzler making the tackle for the Buckeyes at the line of scrimmage, and it is second down and 10 yards to go for SMU. Three minutes, 54 seconds left in this third period. Well, we had that block punt and a couple of key penalties, Ken, and the score is now 35 to 21 Ohio State, and uh, it's... Uh, our defense, I don't think, is doing uh, a whole heck of a lot different than we did the first half. It's just that, that break, uh, that uh, break here and a break there, and we're in good shape. Here we are with Ford handing the ball off again to Shelton, and he finds some uh, holes and then does a lot on his own as he runs it over to the Buckeye 40-yard line. He came up the middle. He got off a tackler at the 45, and Mike Guest finally managed to contain him at the Buckeye 40. That's going to be enough for a first down. He gained about 11 at the 40-yard line of Ohio State SMU. First down, 10 yards to go. And Tolbert coming out wide on the right. Gary Smith is out on the left. The sun's shining again. And Ford is firing, and it is intercepted at the 21-yard line by Vince Skilling. He's back out to the 25, onto the 30, up to the 35. Vince Skilling coming through with a big interception for the Buckeyes, and Ohio State takes over the ball. And they're all over Skilling. They have played opportunistic football here in this third period. And it is first and 10 for Ohio State on their own 35 with three minutes, nine seconds left here in the third quarter, 35-21 Buckeyes. And Rod Gerald coming out to the left. And the quarterback, Schleister, handing off and running with the ball is Rick Volley. Volley from the 35 up a couple to the 37-yard line. Jimmy Smith and Dean Hoggum in there to make the tackle at the 37-yard line. It'll be second down and eight yards to go for Ohio State as Ernie Andrea comes into the huddle with the play. He has Rod Gerald going out as a split left end and Doug Donnelly a flanker on the right. Two setbacks in behind the quarterback, Art Schleister. Schleister fakes, goes back to throw. Standing at his 30, has some time, runs with it, 35-40. Laterals the ball off to Rick Bolley. Bolley across midfield into SMU territory and knocked out of bounds at the 36-yard line. Schleister had room himself, but he decided to turn and flip it off to Bolley, who is quicker than Schleister is, and they get all the way to the 36. Uh, Ken, I was following that uh, play defensively. I had the glasses on old Puck Choate. And uh, Butt came all the way across that field to make that tackle, and he was he was trucking. And so here we go, and this time it is handed off to Ricky Smith, and he slices over right tackle, tries to get room from the outside, and from the 36 gets it into the 34-yard line, and Blaine Smith makes the tackle. That's Ricky Johnson. Make it Ricky Johnson who carried the ball. And that would put it at the 34-yard line. And it is second down and eight to go for the first down for the Buckeyes. They have dominated the third quarter. We have a minute and 55 seconds left to play in it. Now the sun shining brightly. And Schleister flipping back. And it is grabbed back there by Ty Hicks, who is in the backfield now. And a considerable loss. It was not an accurate pitch to him. 
And he picked it up on the bounce and was spilled back at the 46-yard line of SMU. So they lose on the play uh, 13 yards. I think that was smart on Hicks' uh, part just to get down with that ball and not try to pick it up and run with it uh, in any way. Just take your loss and uh, we'll come back at you. So it's third down and about 20 to go for the Buckeyes now. Schleister sends Donnelly out on the left and Rod Gerald to the right. Quarterback goes back to throw. Hands off, though, and running up the middle with the football, number 22, Rick Foley, and he gets it back into the 34-yard line. A 12-yard pickup by Foley into the 34-yard uh, line, but that is going to make it a fourth down and eight situation for Ohio State. Fourth down, eight to go, and let's see what they have in mind now. They're going to do uh, something here. They're going to try to Wheeled out a first down if they can do it. Schleister at quarterback sends Gerald wide left. He's got Donnelly out there too. Three men on the two of them. And uh, Schleister back to throw it. And he fires up the middle and it is knocked down by Charles Tweedy Hunt, the nose guard. Ricky Johnson, the intended receiver, running out of the backfield. So the ball will go over to Southern Methodist at the 34-yard line. There's an instance where in uh, other years, you might have thought about the field goal possibility. Bob Ather now kicks the long field goals, but of course, under the new rule, you'd have to go from the line of scrimmage and not up at the 20-yard line. So SMU takes the ball at the 34-yard line, first down, 10 yards to go. And Mike Ford, the quarterback, goes back and throws and hits up at the 40. Running with the ball, Derek Shelton across the 45 onto his own 47-yard line. Tom Cousinaw making the tackle on the play. The clock shows 21 seconds left in the third period. Buckeyes lead it, 35-21. It's really, uh, it's really remarkable how much this young Mike Ford did learn uh, in the in that the one year's experience from the time we played him last year. Now there was a situation where we sent our ends, and on his way back, he just saw the ends were coming and just dropped the ball over the line to where they weren't. And that's, a, that's some real good quarterbacking. At the 47 of SMU, it is first down and 10 for the Mustangs, and Ford is back to throw it again. Drops one out on the right side, incomplete for uh, Emmanuel Tolbert. Tom Cousinaw peeling off to cover him, and it will be second down 10 at the 47-yard line. And that is the end of the third quarter, and the score, the Buckeyes 35, SMU 21. This is the Ohio State Football Network. This quarter. Fourth quarter coming up. This quarter brought to you by Capital Financial Services. Call your nearest Capital Financial Services office to find out more about getting your loan application started immediately. Second down, 10 SMU at their own 47-yard line. Ford at quarterback. Ready? And a couple of Buckeyes jumping off and flags down all over the place. And let's see. We'll have to wait on this one. Ford is 26 of 42 for... 235 yards. He's hitting on 62% of his passes so far. Now, they're walking it off on Ohio State. Offside called on the Buckeyes, and it goes over to the 48-yard line in Ohio State territory, and that makes it second down and five to go. SMU's best scoring quarters have been the second and third quarter all year, and they were shut off beautifully by the Buckeyes in the third quarter. Running with the ball, the fullback, Tim Johnson. He squirms up the middle, gets it into the 42-yard line of the Buckeyes, and Tom Cousinaw is there for Ohio State on the tackle at the 42-yard line, first and 10 SMU. A couple of late scores in Ken at the halftime. Nebraska leading Iowa State 9 to nothing. Number 12, Maryland leading North Carolina State 24-7. That's also at the half. Vince Skilling is out covering Emmanuel Tolbert over on the left side. Or the right side, rather, as Ford hands the ball off. Derek Shelton coming up the middle, angling back, gets inside the 35-yard line, on down to the 33. Kelton Dantzler and Tom Cousinaw making the tackle on the play. And that is going to be pretty close to a first down. Second down, about a half a yard to go. Dave Purdy tells me that uh, Tim Vogler, or Tim Vogler broke a thumb. Is that right, David? 
talked with him, and uh, he does have a broken thumb. Won't be in any more this uh, game, and I don't know how extensive it will be. A couple of tough injuries today, and now a fumble as Mike Ford was about to uh, pick up the ball, and uh, he and Tim Johnson collided after the fumble, but penalty markers are again down. A legal procedure on SMU. That's the call. Ford went after the ball, and as he was going after it, he really got belted by his own fullback, Tim Johnson. So the ball at the 33-yard line will be moved back out to the 38-yard line, and that will make it second and six instead of second down and one. A legal procedure called on Southern Methodist here. We have bright sunshine here at the Ohio Stadium right now. It's almost like we didn't have a drop of rain at all all day. Sun shining brilliantly, and the Buckeyes are looking good now. It really has been an odd day weather-wise. The quarterback handing off and running with the ball up the middle and getting it into the 34-yard line with Kelton Dantzler and Joe Hornick on the tackle is Derek Shelton, and uh, he is shut down hard at the 34, and that's going to make it third down. And two yards to go for the first down. And not a long two yards. I'd say a short two yards. They send Tolbert out to the right. They've got two setbacks in behind the quarterback. Ford is ready. Going from uh, the open to the closed end of the stadium. He flips a short one out of the left. And it is caught by Shelton down at the 30-yard line. He just flipped it out there. Derek Shelton on the receiving end. He's their leading uh, rusher going into this game, but he's caught several here today. And that's enough for the first down around the 30-yard line, first and 10 for SMU. Buckeyes lead it 35-21 with 13 minutes, 20 seconds left to play in this game. Emmanuel Tolbert again out on the right at the 30-yard line of Ohio State. Splashed in sunshine now. The quarterback forward takes and hands off and running over left tackle is Derek Shelton into the 25 and onto the 24-yard line. Shelton, six feet, 180-pound sophomore, tackled by Vince Skilling at the 24. A gain of six. It'll be second down and four to go for SMU. As they now are not in a position, really, to be grinding it, and that's what they're doing at the moment although there is plenty of time left with the type of offense that they have. They trail 35 to 21. Ohio State took charge in the third quarter. The handoff goes to Darrell Turner. He tries to cut over the right side, and he's not going to get very much because Tom Cousinaw is right there to take him down and shut him off at the 24-yard line at the line of scrimmage. That'll make it third down and four yards to go. No gain on the play. Nothing at all for Darrell Turner, who was the starting back today as the running back. Uh, he beat out Shelton during the week, but they've uh, pretty much split it up most of the time. Anthony Smith goes to the right. Emmanuel Tolbert comes to the left. Mike Ford looks over the defense, goes back to throw the ball, and fires up on the right side. It is caught by Turner, and he is caught by Washington. Right now, Al Washington takes him down at about the 22-yard line. That'll make it four and a couple to get for the first down as they keep nibbling with those short ones. That is not enough. And so it's going to be a fourth down situation with the ball at about the 22-yard line. They need, really, about two and a half to go. They're going. And the Buckeyes crowd in there on defense. Tolbert is out on the right. Smith is out on the left of the Tolbert. And now Ford back to throw, fires it up the middle and hits. Inside the 10-yard line, taking it on down to the 6-yard line, Anthony Smith is there. He is the fellow who has caught uh, 7 going into this game, averaging 21.7. That is the 16th first down. And the ball is on the 6, and it is first down and goal to go. SMU on this drive have had the ball now for three, five, seven, nine, eleven 11 plays. First and goal at the six-yard line. Mike Ford handing off. Derek Shelton slams over the right side, gets into the two-yard line. Vince Skilling makes the tackle. The Pennsylvanian in there on the stop for the Buckeyes. It's really uh, closer to the one, and it'll be second down and goal to go. We see... Uh, 
Luther Henson reporting into the lineup now for Ohio State. A couple of uh, extra people coming in up in uh, the front. And the handoff goes to Sheldon again over the right tackle. He doesn't get it. Derek Sheldon is shut down by Cousinor and Washington, the linebackers. And it'll be third down and goal to go, about a yard away from a touchdown. It's going to be interesting when they grade out the films uh, for this week's game to see how Al Washington stacks up. Uh, he's had himself probably the best game of his career today, total game. Shelton has carried the ball 16 times for 46 yards. Now they get Tolbert way out on the left side. And the handoff is not a handoff. It is the quarterback taking it in himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. Mike Ford. Going over the right side, going in with Tim Johnson blocking for him, and that is a touchdown for SMU. So it is 35 Ohio State, 27 for SMU. Garcia is in to do the kicking. Garcia to kick it. Johnson actually pushed the man over. The kick is blocked. The kick is blocked by Paul Ross, and it goes for not. The score, Ohio State 35, SMU 27, and action will continue after this from Capital Financial Services. leading Southern Methodist 35 to 27 as the Buckeyes ready to receive the kickoff. The Buckeyes are up real close, kind of expecting a onside kick here, what they call their fire truck uh, formation. And with more play-by-play, -play, here's Ken Coleman. Okay, Eddie Garcia will kick it. When uh, Mike Ford scored that touchdown, Tim Johnson really almost pulled him into the end zone or pushed him. He was up behind him, and he appeared to be stopped at the goal line. And Johnson just kind of... <laughs> wailed into him and on he went the kickoff coming down to the 13 yard line picked up by ty hicks hicks coming back with it over the 20 and gets it on to the 22 yard line and that's where ohio state will take over the ball making the tackle on the play john simmons and mark gibson at the 22 yard line of ohio state first and 10 for the buckeyes I might mention, Ken, at this point of the game with uh, 9.57 remaining total offense, SMU 367 yards, Ohio State 313 yards, total offense. Okay, and now it's Gerald to the right and Donnelly to the left and Schleister keeping the ball and he slips and falls after uh, we get back to about the line of scrimmage going over the left side. A little bit slippery, apparently. Second down and still 10 yards to go at the 22-yard line of the Buckeyes. David Marshall was the man who sat down on top of Schleister. Now the Buckeyes uh, sending in uh, Ron Barwig. And uh, Jim Houston comes out of the lineup, the freshman from Akron. Donnelly is wide right. Gerald is split left. The quarterback, Schleister, handing the ball off and running with it, Murray. He's out over the 35, onto the 40, out to the 41-yard line. Calvin Murray. Spikes up the middle and drives it to the 41-yard line. Excellent 19-yard run, first and 10, Ohio State. Now, of course, with a lead of 35 to 27, it will be most interesting to see how the Buckeyes choose to play it down the stretch. The flip goes to Murray. He's over left tackle to midfield and into Mustang territory to their 47-yard line. And that's going to be enough for another first down for Ohio State. So Mr. Murray starts to cut out some chunks of real estate for himself here this afternoon. First down 10 at the 47-yard line of the Mustangs. We'll allow our stations time to identify themselves in a moment when we have the chance here. First down 10 at the SMU 47, and it is going to Murray, and he gets into the 45-yard line on a gain of two, second down, and eight yards to go, Ohio State. And the tackler that time was Putt Choate, the captain. He and Joe Bays, captains today. Now Murray is out and Ricky Johnson is in. I was just gonna say Cal Murray in with 102 yards, 13 carries. Second down, eight to go. Schleister rolling right, and uh, that one was busted up. And Harvey Armstrong, the 255-pound freshman, 
was there right on him as uh, it seemed to be a broken play at the 45. It'll be third down, eight yards to go for Ohio State in SMU territory. And we're down now to eight minutes left to play in the game. Ohio State leads it 35 to 27 as Jim Savoka comes in with a play. Donnelly goes to the left. Gerald is out to the right. And it is Schriester back to throw. He looks, pumps, throws, and he hits down around the 12-yard line, but is it out of bounds? It appears to be. Ricky Johnson caught the ball, but he was out of bounds. Well, the official was right there. Yes, sir, he was, and it was uh, a good call. So the Buckeyes now are going to have to boot it. It'll be fourth down and eight. It was a good throw, but just out of bounds. Tom Orris ready to kick, standing at his 40, and back in the deep spot is D.K. Perry inside his five. The snap to Orris, and he's angling it down for the corner, but it is caught by Perry at his six. He's looking for room. He starts moving left and right and brings it back out to the nine-yard line and is snowed under a couple of tacklers in there. John Hutchings, one of them, and uh, Mike Polinuk, the other. Let's pause for station identification. WTVN 610 Radio, Columbus. It's like a big rainbow, and Columbus is at the end of it. You find that lots of colors. Columbus, someplace special. WTVN 610, biggest life in Columbus. And Monday, bet you'll listen Tuesday. Yeah. SMU's football on their own nine-yard line, first down and ten. A 38-yard kick by Orris, a three-yard run back by Perry. And now the Mustangs trying to get it going again as Mike Ford goes back. Looks, fires long up the middle. Colbert leaps into the air and can't hold the football at the 32-yard line. Would have been a great catch by Emmanuel, but he couldn't quite hang on to it on a ball that was hung high. This quarter being brought to you by Capital Financial Services. Check the white pages of your phone book for the office nearest you. It'll be second down and 10 for the Mustangs at their own nine-yard line. And, of course, you got to think about the fact that this team can explode on you at any time, especially with that Tolbert in there. Now he is out wide right. Anthony Smith to the left. And the pass is going for Anthony Smith, but it is behind him. And the coverage provided by Ray Ellis of the Buckeyes. And one of the Ohio State players is hurt, Al Washington, who had been shaken up a little bit earlier in this ball game. And Tony Miguel is going in to replace Al. And the trainers are going out to take a look and see if he is okay. Bob's got the glasses on him. And, of course, we've got Dave Purdy down on the sidelines. So we'll know very quickly what the situation is with Al Washington, who seems to be needing some help to get to his feet. So it is a leg injury of some sort. Mike Ford is complaining to the officials right at the moment about something. I think he feels that uh, he thinks uh, our defensive backs are interfering with his receivers and uh, He's been trying to get a couple of calls on that uh, a little earlier. He has a third and 10 now with 7.19 left to play in the game. Ohio State 35, SMU 27. And here he comes, and uh, he's going to flood the right side with receivers. He's got three wide receivers out on the right. Only one man set in behind him. He goes back to throw. He's looking, and he guns it up the middle, and it is caught up at the 30-yard line. The catcher on the play is Emmanuel Tolbert, and the tackler is Tom Cousinaw. But it's on to the 30, a 21-yard gain, and first and 10 for Southern Methodist. So they have kept the football. Big play. And the word on Al Washington, good news, he just has a cramp in his leg, uh, and he is okay, and he'll be back in probably very shortly. Indeed it is good news. A fellow who's played a lot of football for the Buckeyes this fall. First down 10, SMU at their own 30-yard line. And it is a handoff, and running over the left side is Shelton. 
across the 35, knocked out of bounds up at the 38-yard line. Ray Ellis from Canton, Ohio, making the tackle for the Buckeyes. That will make it second down and two to go for Southern Methodist at the 38-yard line in their own territory. Magaro is out of the action, and now John Epitropoulos goes in there for the Buckeyes. Number 33 is a linebacker. Mike Ford, the quarterback, ready? And he hands off on a delay, and running with the ball is Shelton, and he is pounded to the ground at the 40-yard line. Derek Shelton is tackled by Gary Doolin, a 250-pounder, and Cousinaw, who weighs 224 but hits like 250. So it's at the 40. It is third down, eight yards to go for SMU. So he's had now a third and uh, 10, and he hit the pass to Tobit. Now he's got himself a third and eight. Well, where are they going to measure? He may, have, he may have gotten enough for the first time. Let's see. Hold everything. Taking the ball that time up to the 40, and they did. They got the first down, first and 10 for SMU. So they keep the football with 6.35 left. Bear in mind now that Ohio State leads it 35 to 27. So if they score now, they'd have to go for the two. Mike Ford. Drops back to pass, fires on the left. He hits, and it is caught at the Buckeye 48-yard line by Anthony Smith and Ray Ellis. Knocks him out of bounds right now. But that is good for 12 yards and another first and 10. So SMU with Ford pitching that ball today, doing a lot of work. And now Washington is now back into the lineup for Ohio State. So the tramp is taken care of, and... Here we go again. Tolbert going out wide to the right. He's got Vince Skilling out there covering on him. Smith is out to the left, and he's got Ray Ellis with him. It is a drop play, and here comes uh, Turner. He runs it into the 40-yard line of Ohio State. A pickup of eight yards on the play. Kelton Dansler and Tom Cousinaw there again on the tackle, and the forward progress is in almost to the 39, and that will make it second down and one. And the clock now is down to six minutes and moving in this game. Buckeyes lead it, 35 to 27. Tolbert goes out wide on the right. Second down and one to go at the 39-yard line of Ohio State. Quarterback ready again, handing it off. Shelton burrowing up the middle, and he just dives through there to get the first down at the 36-yard line. First and 10, SMU. They started on their nine, and they're pecking away right now. The coach is scheduled to be with us after the game. Fans of Bill Miles uh, tackles and tight ends and Dave Adolph, who handles the defensive line. They'll be with us in the booth after the game, give us their viewpoints and answer some questions about today's action. Bill Miles and Dave Adolph. First down 10 for SMU on the Ohio State 36-yard line. As Mike Ford, the quarterback, goes back to throw it again. He fires on the right. He hits and shaking off a tackler is Elton Garrett. And then he runs the ball on down into the 25-yard line of Ohio State. Skilling and Guess finally get him. But Garrett, the big tight end, who had 11 receptions going in to this afternoon's ball game, has run the ball on down to the 25-yard line. And it is yet another first down for SMU. Had SMU been wearing the uh, tearaway jerseys that time, there would have been a touchdown for sure. I don't know whether SMU uses them or not. Ohio State does not use the tearaway jersey. So now Garrett has gone to the sidelines. They've got the two wide receivers in. And Mike Ford has his team on the move here in this fourth quarter. He hands off, and it is Turner coming up the middle, or Johnson, rather. And Johnson keeps on smashing away, and he gets himself into the 12-yard line on a fine, fine second, second effort. Todd Bell was there to make the tackle for Ohio State, and it is yet another first down for SMU with five minutes and seven seconds and moving. And, of course, if they get the six, they're going to have to go for the two. It is 35-27. Ohio State leads it. And Emmanuel Tolbert is going out to the right. It is getting tense here now, folks, at the 12-yard line, first down and 10. Man in motion, Tolbert coming from right to left. 
And the quarterback handing off. And he gives it to Darrell Turner. And Turner gets uh, up to the line of scrimmage. Not quite, really. Yerry Doolin takes him down at the 13. He lost a yard. And it'll be second down and 11. And now we have four minutes and 30 seconds left to play in this game. And Turner is going over to the sideline. And Mike Ford is looking over to his coach to see what he has in mind right now. Second down and 11 yards to go for a Southern Methodist on a drive that started back on their nine-yard line. They control the football here. Ohio State with their defense up tight. And the quarterback fakes, goes back, and fires to Tolbert. And it is incomplete in the end zone. Mike Guess and Darrell Tolbert really having a battle for the ball. That's Emmanuel Tolbert, and they just... The two of them stride for stride into the end zone, one-on-one, -on -one and tough all the way. Incomplete, third down and 11 at the 13-yard line, and four minutes and five seconds showing on the clock, and the next couple of plays could be the clincher one way, or, well, a lot of things could happen. Two men, three men out wide on the right, one man set in behind Ford, who is uh, asking for quiet. He's not getting very much of it. The quarterback ready. He is in his crouch. He goes back to throw. He's looking. He fires that over the middle, and it is caught by Garrett, and Garrett is going to take it in very close to a touchdown. He is in there to about the one-yard line. Elton Garrett had several people that he carried with him. Yes was there. Ellis was there. And the big bull-like tight end takes it into the one. And there it is first down, goal to go. 3.56 remaining. Buckeyes lead at 35 to 27. They have an eight-point lead. So here we are. Southern Methodist on the move. Lance Peterson coming up over the ball at center. And Ohio State opts for a timeout. The score... 35 for the Buckeyes, 27 for SMU, and action will continue after this from Capital Financial Services. We have 3 minutes 43 seconds remaining. Ohio State leading Southern Methodist 35 to 27. Southern Methodist with 30 first downs this afternoon. OSU with 16. Southern Methodist is knocking on our one-yard line. It'll be a first down situation, and with play-by-play, -play, here's Ken Coleman. Okay, Bob, and the Buckeyes are huddling on defense now as SMU gets ready to come out of the huddle. First and goal at about the one-yard line, actually a little bit inside it. And here they come. They send Tolbert out to the right. Johnson is the front man, and uh, Shelton is in behind him, and the quarterback takes it. And he is in for the touchdown. Mike Ford scores. And so it is now down to a situation of two points. It is 35 to 33. Ohio State is out in front. And SMU will have to go for the two to get the tie. 341 left to play as Mike Ford cracked it over to... Uh, wind up a drive of 91 yards, which started back on their own nine-yard line and a couple of key third-down plays. They're going for the two, so this, we'll see. Ford is asking for quiet. He isn't getting it, so he moves his team back. And the officials are calling for time. Now the Buckeyes are calling for time. And I'm sure that part of this would be to have Mr. Ford do a little thinking, but right now he's going to go over and talk to Ron Meyer, and they'll do some thinking together about this situation. 35-33, Ohio State out in front of SMU. The Buckeyes dominated in the third quarter of play, but Southern Methodist has come back here in the fourth, and they have closed it up. They had a point after missed, and earlier... They had two points that they made. So Mike Ford, a fine young quarterback in his sophomore year for the Mustangs of SMU, has finished talking with his coach. And Tom Cousinaw has come back over from the Buckeye bench. And here we go with this one play that could be the play of the game in terms of win or lose or what. 
in a situation here, Ken, uh, into a potential uh, penalty situation this year. The NCAA has put in that uh, in a situation like this, that if Mike Ford cannot hear the uh, offensive signals and he goes back to the official, it uh, it could very well go against uh, a... Uh, hang on just a second. I got Dave Purdy in my ear, and he says they're looking for a blitz this time. But anyway, they've got to keep the crowd down here. Well, Ford is ready. He's in the crouch. He's got Tolbert going in motion over to the right. He's got the ball. He's rolling back. He's rolling right. And he is in for the point after touchdown or the points after. And we are tied at 35. 35 to 35 the score. Action will continue after this from Capital Financial Services. We have three minutes, 41 seconds to go. We have a tie ball game here at Ohio Stadium, 35 to 35. This is Bob Connors with Ken Coleman. The Buckeyes line up in their, off, their onside kick deployment. And with play-by-play, -play, here's Ken. Ed Garcia will be kicking, and they do have nine men up front. They have Guess and Hicks standing back around the 10-yard line. But they're looking for Garcia to... Uh, bunt it and see if they can uh, get possession of the ball, the Mustangs. Here he comes up on the ball slowly, but he uh, drives it through. And it goes to Guess. He takes it at the 13 to the 15, 20, 25, 30. And Mike Guess is taken down at the 32-yard line. Ohio State at their own 32. First down and 10 yards to go for the Buc Buckeyes. And let us see now. With 3.35 left to play in this game, they're tied 35 to 35, and they'll try to see what they can do about getting 68 yards in a hurry. Donnelly coming out wide to the right. Gerald is out on the left, and the quarterback is ready. Schleister going back, handing the ball off, and running with it is Ricky Johnson over left tackle, and from the 32-yard line, he runs it up to the 34, and Harvey Armstrong makes the tackle on him there. It'll be second down and eight to go at the Buckeye 34-yard line. And we're down to three minutes, 19 seconds left to play. 35-35 the score. Buckeyes come out again. Donnelly to the right, and Gerald split on the left side. Schleister ready. The quarterback takes it. He's going back to throw it. He's looking. He's being chased. He's running. He's up to the 30, the 35, and he is out of bounds on the far side of the field at the 37-yard line. So that's going to make it third down and five for Ohio State. He had people out there, but he couldn't um, find anybody open. This quarter being brought to you by Capital Financial Services. Call your nearest Capital Financial Services office to find out more about getting your loan application started immediately. At the 37-yard line, third down, five to go for Ohio State. Donnelly again coming wide right. And on the left is Joe. Two setbacks in behind the quarterback, Schleister. He goes back to throw. He's looking. He fires long downfield. It is intercepted at the 39-yard line. And running back with the ball for the uh, Mustangs of all of uh, Southern Methodist and bringing it back to the Buckeye 39-yard line is John Simmons. John Simmons making the interception and bringing it back over to the 39-yard line. It was intended for Ricky Johnson. And Jim Savoka was the man who made the tackle. So now Southern Methodist has the ball at the Buckeye 30-yard line. We have 2.48 left to play in this game, and they have moved the ball very well in this fourth quarter. So let's see what they do now. They have Tolbert coming out on the left side, and Skilling is out there along with him. Anthony Smith is out to the right. The quarterback, Ford, handing it off. Derek Shelton gets the call. Over right tackle, brings it into the 36-yard line on a gain of three. Gary Doolin, the big 250-pound junior from Madisonville, Kentucky, is in there on the stop. It's at the 36, second down and seven. Prior to that interception, Ken was sitting here thinking whether or not Woody was going to sit on the tie or go for the win. And now we're just sitting on how we can hang on. That's the way it stands right now. It is second down and seven at the 36-yard line. And SMU handing the ball off, and it goes to Tim Johnson, the fullback, over the left tackle and taking it into the 32-yard line. And it's Cousinaw who is there on the stop at the 32. And that's going to make it third down coming up. And about three to go with two minutes left to play in this game. 
third down, and of course they do have the place kicker, Garcia. And uh, they may or may not utilize him depending on what the situation is on this particular play. Here is the quarterback, Mike Ford, ready? He takes it, he hands it off, he gives it to Shelton, he's into the 30, he's being pushed backward by Cousinaw and by Ross, but he got it to the 30-yard line, and it uh, does not appear to be enough for the first down, and we're going to get a timeout Mustangs. The score is 35 to 35, and action will continue after this from Capital Financial Services. We've got a tie ball game here in Columbus with a minute and 32 seconds to go. Ohio State and SMU, 35-35. It's fourth and one on the 30-yard line for SMU. And Ken Coleman, I honestly say at the outset of today's game, I didn't really figure we'd find ourselves with a minute and a half to go in this kind of a situation. The Buckeyes were heavily favored by as many as 14 points. Well, right now, they're going to go for it. They come out into the I formation. The Buckeyes are really pinched in there defensively. Tolbert goes in motion to the right. Ford handing the ball off, and they're not going to get it. Derek Sheldon got the call, and they were looking for him. As he came up that right side, they went riding like a big barrel of surf. Gary Doolin led the charge, and Vince Skilling came blitzing up from his outside halfback position, and they did not get it. So the Buckeyes get the football with a minute and 30 seconds left to play in the game. They will have it on their own 30-yard line, first down and 10 yards to go for Ohio State. So let's see what they're going to do with it now. 35 to 35. They've got wide receivers coming out on the right side. One of them is Bob Murphy. Now, Schleister back to throw it, and he's going to be dumped for a loss back at his 20-yard line. As uh, defender Gary Nelson was in there to make the tackle, the outside linebacker from Uvalde, Texas, takes him down back at the 20, and it will be second and 20 for the Buckeyes now. A minute and 15 seconds, and we're going to get a timeout again. Well, the Buckeyes, uh, go ahead, Ken. No, that's okay, Bob. Just uh, time out. The Buckeyes are uh, are going deep, and I thought for sure they would come out and go for some of those uh, uh, short outs, uh, the, the medium-range passes that they have been using uh, uh, successfully there for a while, but apparently Coach Hayes has decided he just wants to go deep, wants to go for the whole thing. Well, right now they're talking with Art Schleister, the quarterback down here on the sideline, about the 40-yard line. They're sending uh, Jimmy Moore back into the fray now. Ernie Andrea has just gone back in. The ball resting on the 20-yard line of Ohio State. Now, Bob Murphy, who was in there for the one play, is coming out. And uh, Rod Gerald is speaking to one of the officials. And here comes Schleister getting back into the ball. First down, or second down and 20. And we have a minute and 15 seconds left in this game. Doug Donnelly coming out on the right. Gerald is stood on the left. Quarterback ready. Schleister back to throw. Looking. Throws it up the middle, and it is incomplete around the 45-yard line. And it was really closer to uh, Mustangs than it was to Buckeyes. Rod Gerald was in the general vicinity, but D.K. Perry was uh, the man closest to the ball. That pass was underthrown, and uh, we haven't mentioned it all on the air, uh, but one of the reasons why, uh, perhaps, is that Arch Schleister has a, uh, has a bruised elbow. He's been wearing a pad on it all afternoon, and it's just not sure, uh, just not sure how serious it is, but he has underthrown a number of passes today. Third down and 10 at the 20-yard line. Schleister back to throw it again. He's firing long down on the right side for Murphy. And it is intercepted at the 37-yard line. And the man who made it was David Hill, who going into this game had a couple of interceptions, and he's had a couple of them today. So on the 37-yard line of SMU, once again, the Mustangs have the ball. First down and 10 to go. One minute and three seconds left to go in this afternoon's action, and it's been a long ball game. Now they uh, send Smith and Tolbert both out on the right, and they split a man on the left, and back goes Mike Ford to throw it. 
He does throw, and it's up around the 40-yard line. The ball is caught, and uh, making the tackle right at the 40, Tom Cousinoff on Tim Johnson. As uh, very often today, the quarterback Ford has thrown the people coming out of the backfield, and it's at the 40. Second down, seven yards to go for SMU. Now Ford throws it out on the right side, caught by Tobit, and he just wanted to kill the clock as he grabbed it, jumped out of bounds at the 45-yard line, jumped out at that spot with 39 seconds left. And uh, just an opportunity to get that clock stopped now and have a third down and uh, three. Third and three, maybe two and a half for the first. Now they got three people wide on the right side, only one left side. One man is behind the quarterback. And back he goes, Mike Ford looking to throw. Fires it to his back, coming out of the outfield, or rather the tight end, and Elton Garrett gallops over to the Buckeye 35-yard line. And there, Tom Cousinaw makes the tackle on the play for Ohio State. This quarter has been brought to you by Capital Financial Services. Now, we're ready. Two wide receivers to the right. He throws the ball out of bounds over the head of Tolbert. We remind you to call your nearest Capital Financial Services office to find out more about getting your local application started. Well, he just wasted that one. He uh, simply wanted to stop that clock again. It now says 25 seconds. The score is 35 to 35. The ball just outside the 35-yard line of Ohio State. And uh, they move a man over on the right. Smith, Anthony Smith, who had been on the left. And back goes Mike Ford to throw it. He's looking now. He's going to his left, and he's running with it. He's trying to get out of bounds, and he does at the 29-yard line. And Vince Skilling is the man who got him out. But it's down to, well, the clock is moving. It's down to nine seconds. I guess he didn't get out. Now they're saying stop the clock. And the clock had not been stopped. And it got all the way down to seven seconds. And now Mike Ford was down. And I think some of the people thought he was feigning an injury. And now he is uh, limping over to the sideline, but suddenly turns around very quickly like he, he forgot the limp for a moment and uh, was making sure there was a timeout. But it's down to seven seconds on the clock, and I thought that he had actually gotten out of bounds with the ball. I think that was the complaint that Coach Myers had with, uh, uh, with the officials on the far side of the field was, you know, for heaven's sakes, why don't you stop the clock if he's out of bounds? How many seconds did he lose? Three, four seconds on At that? least that, yes. I would say so. Now Garcia is going in to try to win it. He will be attempting from the 37-yard line, so it will be a 47-yard field goal try by Ed Garcia. The wind is not a factor. He is kicking from the open to the closed end of the stadium. He is about ready to go. Glenn Sturman, the number two quarterback, holding at the 37-yard line. The snap from center is put down. Garcia boots it. And it is no good. It is off to the left, no good. And so Ohio State with two seconds, two seconds left in this game will get the ball. Well, <laughs> Brother Coleman? Yes, sir. Either way, Southern Methodist is going to pull out of here tonight with a check for close to $200,000 as their portion for today's activities. And I would uh, be just as happy if they would leave with the things the way they are now, 35-35. Well, they have given the Buckeyes all they can deal with. Ohio State will take over the ball. First down and 10 to go. The ball is spotted on the 29-yard line of the Buckeyes. So let's see what they have in mind. They're sending Donnelly out wide on the left. They have Gerald out on the right. And a three-man line for SMU. They're going to give them all they want on the short stuff. Better. Now Schleister going back to throw. Penalty marker down. And he is hit as he fires long downfield. And it is intercepted by Hill at his 30-yard line. And that 
is going to be all. There is a penalty, however, and a player is hurt, and it's Schleister. The man, just as he was throwing the ball, he really got cracked. And the man who uh, came through and hit him was Jerry Kovar. And he just really got to the quarterback, and he looks like he is in great pain. And in any event, the football game is over, and it has ended 35 to 35. A rather silent crowd now as the trainers are all around Schleister, the freshman quarterback of the Buckeyes, and uh, he looks like he might be hurting. So that is it. I'm sure Coach Meyer and the SMU team will take that tie, but I don't think they like to see it end on a on a note like that. Uh, and I did not see it. I was watching the play downfield, and I don't know whether it was a cheap shot or a late hit or what it was, or just a good pop. I saw it, and uh, I think it was a good pop. Uh, Kovar has a reputation of being a very tough kid, and he, he went in there, and Schleister was throwing the ball when he was hit. It was a legitimate throw. Now he's up, and he's walking, and he's going off. He's getting some help and hopefully he just got the wind knocked out of him. And there was a flag down, incidentally. Ohio State had 12 men and Woody on the field at the snap. That's the end of the game with a score, 35 to 35, and we'll return with a final summary after this from Capital Financial Services. It's all over in Columbus, 35-35, Ohio State and SMU with the tie. Uh, Ken, do you have a final comment or two before we wrap up this portion and head for the coaches? Well, I have to say that I think that uh, one thing that Southern Methodist has attempted to do, and we saw it last year when you and I were at the Cotton Bowl in Dallas, they're trying to turn their football program around, and uh, from what they have done thus far this season, you have to say that they've been uh, quite successful at it. Certainly, uh, uh, they had a lead over Penn State a couple of weeks ago in the third quarter, and came back to... Uh, High here against Ohio State this afternoon. All right, Ken, thank you. The final score today was Ohio State 35, Southern Methodist 35. Don't go away. The coaches' comments are coming up.